You won't believe what happened in Champs of the Realms week six. This top eight takes the cake. It was ridiculous. Do me a big favor if you've been enjoying all the content. Go ahead and support the sponsor of this tournament, Flossy Carter. The dude is sponsoring each and every week with a tech prize for the winner. And he's a huge Mortal Kombat fan, just like a lot of us here. We are going to be taking a little break for the next week because Caboose will be attending the Game Awards. But listen, we got a lot of action lined up for you guys until then. Let's get into this hype. They sought the most powerful beings across all the realms. But only one can be crowned the champion of the realms. <laughs> champions of the realms week six the pool play was just some of the craziest stuff i've ever seen and it has set up for us one of the most hype top eights that you will ever see for this game all right destroyer how you doing how you feeling about this top eight right now my god like you said this top eight is something else man if you'll take a look here we got honeybee versus king gambler Weedy versus Dragon in the winner side. And then in the lower side, we got our glass of rain versus I'm your alpha, aka Young Monster, aka Young Lag Switch. And then we got Gur <laughs> versus Get Wrecked Yo, Skylar White Yo. This is gonna be a crazy one, Caboose. I mean, it's I be thought insane. dude, I thought week was it week four? The one with rewind and all the crazy players? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. week four was out of control, but this week might have just topped it. No, this is going to be disgusting, Destroyer. I'm Even sick. right away, our first match of the night is going to be Honeybee and King Gambler. Man, you can get those Tweety invites sent out. Dragon. You can get oh, those invites goodness. sent out. I'm ready. I'm ready Let's to rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? I want to see it. Let's get it started. some action right invites now. Are sent. And, invites are sent. And Caboose, you know, even leading up into this top eight the the chaos that ensued in the pool play on wednesday brother it was insane i, I just i can't even believe it Wasn't i it, mean it, it we was... went we went from week five being champions of the three o's i mean even in the top eight for that it was just three o after three o after three o then we go into week six and it was like nobody was backing down nobody, nobody. was going out without a fight it was constant one game five after another all the the winners finals matches the matches that led people into the winner side of the top eight were just insanity i couldn't believe what i was witnessing and now here we are ready to go in the top eight we just need honeybee to get into the lobby and we'll be good to go for our first match of the night i'm so hyped though destroyer i cannot wait to see how this all goes down so many heavy hitters in this one today and I, it's just you guys are in for a treat all right we like to yeah. put on a good show every single week with Champions of the Realms, but this week especially is just, it's going to be amazing. It is, and I think we're going to start off with another lobby reset here in about a second, yeah, unless, about it. unless Honeybee can make the miracle appearance. Honeybee, uh, what else can be said that hasn't been said already about this guy? That reptile, that scorpion cameo such a good combo but also king gambler puts in work with the johnny cage and goro no he really does i gotta tell you right now this guy is prepared for anything he's been grinding a lot i've been keeping tabs of the king gambler streams caboose and the dude is gaming he's triple xl gaming here we go already johnny cage flicking us off we got Reptile twerking. <laughs> what is happening here, bro? Oh my goodness. This is Crazy intros here. Champions of the Realms out of pocket tonight. Wow. 
start things off immediately with a nice forward throw there. Honeybee gonna land that back three, gonna get a big combo off of this. Potentially even in mid set up destroyer. Oh, he was going for something a little fancier. Got well over 40% off that too. Oh my goodness, that combo? Jeez. Hello? This guy thinks he's Squilliam Fancyson right now. Beautiful oh, stuff. Uh, you don't know, from Spongebob, from Spongebob, is that not the name? Oh, is it Fancyson? Okay. You know what? So Go, go on your, go on your, go on your dirty dancing classes with the Baraka in the background. I'm gonna, I'm go, gonna go, go dirty go, dancing go, with go. Kevin Costner. <laughs> Here we go. Did you go with the staggers? The down oh, one nice into gun. the rising uppercut with the Goro backup. You love to see it. And you know what's funny, bro? I feel like Johnny Cage Goro, that's kind of like an OG cameo team right there. Because if you think about the movies, the beef that Goro right. and Johnny has had throughout the years, it's kind of canon. So yeah, I, I kind of dig this team. You think he ever uh, paid him back for those $500 sunglasses? I mean, he's carrying him in Mortal Kombat 1 right now. That's enough oh, payment goodness. if you ask me. Look at this now, Destroyer. Honeybee gonna get the side switch oh and the invis activation with 35% on that combo. Gets the throw to connect. Wowzers. He has the corner and the fatal, but unable to secure the round as a wake up shadow kick will close things out for King Gambler. We're all tied up in the rounds here in game one. Week six is top eight champions of the realms. Yeah, notice oh how these head. players are playing very careful right now. They don't want to overextend anything here. Goes for the stagger, the grab tech from Honeybee. Oh my oh. god, what a whip punish! That was disgusting from King Gambler, netting 218 off of that sequence. Ridiculous combo there. Honeybee gonna go for the down poke. They're trading down ones. The down one is punishable by another down one in this game. Okay, there we go. Honeybee gonna get the side switch now. Activates the Scorpion Ooh. cameo. Maybe in anticipation for that low connecting. It didn't work out. But he's looking to try and maintain control here with that sweep. One thing I'm noticing oh, about Gambler is the movement and neutral control here with his Johnny Cage is looking immaculate. Uh -oh. And there it is, uh -oh. the brutality for game number one. Gambler making a statement. That's Little Dominican Man jumping inside a reptile. Oh my god! Little Dominican Man just pulled up. I don't know why Johnny Cage has a Little Dominican Man figure in his pocket, but he does. Must be a fan. He must be a fan. On game one from King Gambler Destroyer, Honeybee needs to find an answer against this Johnny Cage Goro cameo combo. Johnny and Cage or Johnny's Cage? Uh, Jonathan Cageathan. I like that one. I'll take two. I'll take two of them? I'll take two to go. You know what? Get four for Goro. Yeah. All right, I got you. Here we go. We're jumping right back into this King Gambler Honeybee. It's 1-0 right now. Let's see if Honeybee's going to be able to bounce back from that little Dominican man beatdown. Oh my god, the Goro just said, stop right there, sir. You are not going anywhere. He calls it again. Goro just putting Reptile in prison right now. He said, bro. He said, Scorpion. Scorpion. He did say that. I heard him say that, actually. Yeah. He said, Scorpion. Yeah. No, he said that. He's going invisible, Caboose. Nice meter for a shadow kick there from King Gambler. Ooh. Gonna get the crazy pickup off of that 262. What's the next move? A lot of blocking happening here. Honeybee's gonna get the throw, throws him into the left side of the screen, and immediately a punish off of that dash from Honeybee. Billy, like you gotta be very careful against these top level players, man. You you do one YOLO thing, it gets blocked, and you lose all your HP for it. Gotta watch out for that single bar meter that King Gambler currently has. There's the shadow kick. Okay, and a counter off the cross up. Good close around here so long as he doesn't drop and Honeybee nice. secures it. Very nice stuff there. The slow force ball. Oh, gets caught. Tossing a projectile. And Gambler gonna walk away with 260 off that one. Oh, but the force ball oh connects. My God. Honeybee with the side switch here too and the free invis activation. Wait a second. Oh, but he gets poked out of it. Man, Gambler's making some good decisions whenever Honeybee decides to go with the invisible setups. I must say, every single time he's done it, Gambler's made the right call. 
Oh, just kind of extending that leg out there. Goes with the down one. This is quite the back and forth here, but an opening from Honeybee gonna force a breaker. Oh no, the Shadow Kick connects into the Goro Cameo King Gambler. Finding a bit of momentum here. Keeping Ooh. himself safe off that with the Goro Cameo. Honeybee trying to steal a turn. I don't know, man. It looks like Honeybee oh, trying to squeeze his nipples, and here it is. He's gonna catch it. What a devastating combo. Cashing out and tying things up one to one. What do you say about oh, that, man. Pipo? He was looking for the fancy brutality combo at the end there, dropped it, but nevertheless, Honeybee, like you mentioned, tying up this set. You love to see it. This is certainly not going to be a Champions of the 3 O's this week. You said he was looking for the Squillium Fancy set? Yeah, I just introduced them like last week. So when are you going to introduce me to Squillium Fancy set? Uh, you got to work your way up to it. Oh. oh all right. We're going to get you there. Don't worry. All right. All right, we're getting right back into this uh, gambler sticking with the Goro Johnny Cage. I don't think we're going to be seeing a switch from him at all because this has kind of been the characters he's been ride or die with for, for the time we've seen him play. Lush frames off of the shadow kick is brutal. That is just like, forget about neutral. I'm in your face. What's up? Here we go now, honeybee. Ending a devastating combo here, Destroyer, and activates the Invis. Activates the Party Vasquez. Oh, the spacing! <laughs> we try to get the up block, but unfortunately wasn't able to time the up block in time and get that low sweep to connect. That was sick. To close out that round. That was sick. I hope they make a, pro uh, a premiere. Oh, what do they call it? What do they call the Dimitri Vegas? A premiere skin? Oh, yeah. They gotta make a premiere Ooh. skin for Reptile, and they gotta make a John Leguizamo. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Party Basket. <laughs> they gotta get him in the game at some point. One of these days, we're gonna see him. I hope. Good combo conversion here. Gonna end it with the nut punch. That's a lot of hit advantage there. He's gonna put him in the corner. This is bad news bears for Honeybee right now. King Gambler looking to tie up the rounds here, and that Goro's gonna do it. Hey, look at that. Johnny Goranya. Cage was recording it. I'm gonna put it on ya. Who? Goranya. Goranya? Yeah, that's his full name. You didn't know that? I thought his name was Gara Garaxasax. No, it's uh, Dave G. Goranya. They call him Goro for short. Wow. Yeah, some MK lore for you then. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You're, you're welcome. You want to know a little bit more about that statue in the, the, the base in the back? The Egyptian statue in the back? What, they call that Goranya? Nah, so that is actually Madame Bo when she was in her 20s. Oh, she's looking good. Oh, good throw. Maybe looking to close out this game here. Destroyer had the opportunity to right there. And there it is. Now up 2-1 in the set here with this Reptile. I mean, listen, I hate, I hate to keep bringing it up, but uh, Hon Honeybee, he's out for blood. He's out for blood, this week. man. <laughs> he's out for blood this week. You after... know, listen, don't, don't mention it because I'm already in his, <laughs> in his naughty list. Don't mention what happened, man. He, he put, he's putting coal in his stockings. Hey, sure. hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Okay. Hey, you better jump before I send Goro to your crib. Imagine that big forearm shogun knocking down your door. Good. Don't go lounging on me, Oh, ma magic. Yo, magic in the chat. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Yo, ma imagine Goro comes to your crib and your grandmother goes to answer the door. And then he blows the door open and she goes flying across the room. And then he says, Goran, you're going to put it on you. Yeah, so I'll make me call him over. Very nice. Honey Bee. Oh my god. The Shadow Kick. He tried to get the Goro conversion. The Goranix. Look at this now. Destroyer Honeybee getting another 30%. He is definitely in the zone. Wow. Huge pickup in the corner there. Off the hit confirmed. Nicely done. Match point now for Honeybee. 
Ooh, gets caught by that jump in. Ooh, oh good mention that for such a tough jump in. It's so with. deceiving because he literally jumps in from a full screen and it connects. Like this dude literally extends his leg. He's definitely got some training from Portal Khan. Oh, look oh. at that neutral talk. Gonna run up in his face. Oh, oh missed. He, he messed up the Goro sequence there. Didn't get the plus frames off of that, and that is gonna be an overhead mix up of a lifetime. Honeybee looking to close this out right here, right now. That overhead scorpion cameo, so solid destroyer. Just works so consistently. Honeybee had the chance to close it out there. We'll do so Whoa. now. Sending Johnny to the nether realm. King Gambler is sent to the loser's bracket now. Honeybee is now in the winner's finals with that reptile. My goodness. Oh my god. Yo, Scorpion pulled up and kicked through this dude. And Johnny Cage, he was like, ah, 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 ah. He said, Goranya, gonna put it on ya. Goranix. Reptanya, gonna put it on ya. Goranix is his name. Oh, he just changed it legally, didn't he? Yeah. Good for him. I'm happy for him, you know? Dude, look at this final moment here. He tried to he tried to do something, and he was invisible. I don't know how the hell these players know where they are when they're invisible, but they just do. And there it is, the brutality. Have a good day. I'll see you in a moment. Wrapped up there. Beautiful stuff from Honeybee. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but we got our next match is Tweety and Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is... So hold on, I got you. I got you. We're, we're gonna get the invites yeah. in a second. I got you. Okay. All right. Get those invites set up now. Tweety and Dragon. This is just gonna be an insane set. I am so looking forward to this. And yo, again, thank you very much, Magic, for the for the gifted subs in the chat. You were gifting subs to to Destroyer as well. We really, really right. appreciate be on the look support to Champions of the Realms. Because we're going to get them in a second. All right, Papa? I got, I'm watching them. Papito. All right, I got it. I got it. Oye, you mira, papi, pero mira, papi, no llora, por favor, yep. papi, no llora, papa. Mira, papa, oh, we got no our llora. predictions up, by the way, as well, for this set. This is a big one. Choose where you're going to put your channel points wisely. This is Dragon versus Sweetie now. Yeah. How do you feel about this one? After the showing that uh, Tweety gave us on um, Wednesday, I, dude, he is looking Ooh. scary. Tweety, no doubt about Tweety's that. looking scary, bro. Tweety is definitely one to watch out for. But Dragon as well. I mean, this is the first week we're finally seeing Dragon compete. Dragon, both of these competitors, veterans to the scene. I'm very much looking forward to seeing this set go down, and it's about to destroy her. Let's get Dragon, it. Dragon, of course, rocking Ashra. Tweety with that Baraka. And and don't forget, Dragon did pull out a Tanya Goro, I think, last minute to kind of cash right. out on a on a win against uh get right yo Skylar White, yo. Oh, and look at that. Second part of the back one straight connect. Tweety getting things started immediately here. Oh, and that back three. Here we go. This is the Baraka pressure that everybody's afraid of right now. Ever since we saw Tekken Master take UFA with the Baraka Striker, this character has been back on the radar, Caboose. Striker with a beautiful 40% combo there. Destroyer holding on to this corner right now. Oh, but wait a second. Armored wake up move. Push through and get out of that corner. Sweetie looking to open up with a back three. And shut down the Tony Serino cameo. How you doing? It's me, Tony Serino. Tony, it's me, uh, Tony Molino. Yeah, I think too. And look at this dragon gonna close out this round here, Destroyer. Uh, dude, Dragon is such a strong player and a consistent player as well. Like, how many NRS titles has this dude been just feeling it in the competition, Caboose? Absolutely, one of the most consistent performers in the history of NetherRealm games, no doubt about that. Very nice. Good, good reaction there to block the overhead. Sweetie trying to condition his opponent. Ooh. Dragon is ready for it. Sweetie has a mountain to climb here, but he can do it. No oh striker available what and a pick up there. No, the Serena knocking him out of the air and literally extending that blade to catch some crazy damage off of that. Dragon taking game number one.
against Tweedy. The reaction you have to have to see that your opponent's been caught by that cameo to then hit confirm off of it is just insane. And I don't know how these players do it. You want to know, know how, how they do it? All right, so <laughs> first, they get a syringe. They fill the syringe up with Vex milk, and then they inject okay. it into the... <laughs> Now, you know what they do? I'll tell you, I actually know the answer. I actually know the answer. They, they drink some G Fuel and they make sure to use some Destroyer, they use Code Destroyer FGC at checkout. <laughs> I think that's the big, that's the big one. Yeah. Yo, let me know when you want to do one of the uh, arenas with me. The, the last one we did, bro, insane. It was Gur versus Wise Gemini. You gotta watch it back, you'll lose your mind. I heard it was, uh, it was a tight one. Tight, tight like an uh, Omni Man's suit. Point like a tiger. Tight like Omni Man's uh, <laughs> thighs. All right, here we go. It looks like Tweety is definitely waking up here. He is giving Dragon the worst. Putting him in the corner, but the infamous wake up from Ashra escaping anything. Beautiful stuff there from Tweety to answer back here in game two. Oh, get that back three. Ooh. Even though he confirmed that, he still called a striker. I don't know if that was for extra damage or still to have the safety net if that was blocked. You see that? I think I think it's the safety net, and then he's always prepared if it does end up that he gets the hit off the back three. Yeah, because what it is, nice is, is that, that string there, you can duck it, right? I'm pretty sure right, you can duck it. Back one. Yes, you can. You so can he, duck yeah. the so he's got the striker to always force him to block it. Jesus Lord. Tweety. Just... Oh my dragon. goodness. And that's oh, almost guaranteed oh, chip. Yeah, I don't even know how you escape that. Tweety answering back immediately in the game two. Not going to waste any time. We got ourselves a set. Hey, Boost, what if I told you? I don't know who you are anymore. Get the measure or... yeah, losing the what if I told you? Yo, what if I, I told you, you I'm hyped to... Or what if I told you I'm hyped to see the Quan Chi trailer this weekend? Oh yeah, in Brazil, right? That's gonna be fun. Sick. I, I, I was, I was literally. I know you were laughing when you saw that, that intro between him and, and so Jason. Good, so Jason good. was like, "So you want to be my friend?" And then Jason, oh and then Quan Chi. <laughs> yeah, Quan Chi said. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "You will never get this." I'm Quan Chi. You will Quan never. Aura. He said. Apparently, <laughs> Quan Chi is boring. <laughs> Yo, we. Nice throw. Good we throw. Here with the Fatal Blow Destroyer. One hit confirm will do it. One back three. Careful here. Oh my goodness. No, no the full screen. Oh, he, he didn't have enough HP Sereno. to take this Tony Sereno there. Unfortunate what? stuff. If he would have had just a slither of life left, Caboose, he could have potentially had that going. Certainly opportunity there, but not able to connect it. Nice Hail Mary to throw out in a position like that. Oh my god. off the cross up and immediately gets the 2 1 into the Baraka Barrage. Tony Sereno. Uh oh, neutral duck off the second bit of that screen. There was no striker came here to save him. But now Tweety still going to apply this insane pressure. Quan Chi in the background like... <laughs> Where? Where's Quan Chi? Where's Quan Chi? You don't see him? He's the move. Oh, now I see him all the way back here. You know, I hope they do a premiere skin of Quan Chi. A Humpty Dumpty premiere skin. Would you like that? I want them to do the premiere skin of the, the guy who plays Quan Chi from the, uh, from the old arcade days. <laughs> nah, that'll be so good! That, that that'll picture be so of him, good! They gotta, they gotta make that a skin. That man and looks just a, and just a black t-shirt and some jeans. Nah, that man looks devious with the makeup. 
Bro, right now, Tweety is definitely delivering the pain and gains to Dragon here. He's got him in the corner, just going with the Baraka onslaught. Striker keeping him safe off of every dumb decision. Goes with the down punch, double up. Oh my god, Dragon needs to get out of this corner right now. He, he listened to me, bro. He said, okay. Wait a second, Dragon could get something going right here, Destroyer. Oh my goodness, avoid the armor. Went for the overhead and connected. But it wasn't enough. Dragon needs an up block. There it is. No way. No breaker available. A fatal combo. And that's going to do it. it, bro. That is it. Dragon just highway robbery on that one. Very much it was looking like Tweety was going to go up 2-1 to one in this set. But a couple hits. One hit confirming a fatal blow will do it. Jesus, dude, almost. Ashra has literally built a reputation already for having one of the most devastating fatal blows in the game. She can confirm it off of almost any combo because it just comes out so quick. And on top of that, there's like no scaling to it. I mean, I can say that about a lot of the fatal blows in this game. Yeah, I think I think some of these fatal blows, they definitely dish out a ton of damage. Ashra's being one of them as well, Destroyer. Now we head into game four. Thing is though, Tweety absolutely not even close to out of this. You know, there's this very easily we can see ourselves going into game five with the pressure that this guy applies with this character and that cameo as well. Striker, like you said, allowing him the opportunity to do the back three string and not have to worry about his opponent neutral ducking it. He's always keeping himself safe because you know Tweety's got really good reaction time. Anytime that back three connects, even if he's called in striker cameo, it's a free 30%. 100 percent they're jumping no, right 30%. back 1000 percent they're jumping right no, back 30 30 percent all right striker arrest this guy what, what, what? oh you're done he's pulled up nice throw there but it is the back throw it sends dragon out of the corner but the back three gonna connect dude the back three such a Good move, man. You can throw that out whenever whenever in doubt, back three it out. Oh, 100%. Like, if, if it isn't for Ashra, who can just wake up through anything, usually you'll, it's like back three, you blow up armor, you get a launcher, you, you can make a, a safe confirm out of it. Crazy string. Yeah, there's so much utility in just that back three alone. Tweety drops the no. combo, unfortunately, but he gets another back three, thankfully. That was almost a disaster destroyer. Tweety, though, able to close it out. He has a full stick of butter now, baby. <laughs> full stick of butter now, yeah. Full stick of butter now, yo. Yeah. Use that full stick of butter now, baby. Loving what I'm seeing here. Good breaker. We try to get that back three out. Dragon interrupting now. Dragon finally having a turn here. So Tweety goes for the breaker right away. He's just gonna eat the damage. Gets caught by the overhead on the cross up. Oh, and that's a counter and a half destroyer with that G1 and the Baraka Mirage. There it is. He's going to keep the corner off of that combo. Dragon trying to push some buttons here. Look at Fighting the his way out of away. this corner. You love to see it. Tony Serino plus frames on the projectiles. She's got it all. Patience right now. Patience from Tweety. Good block on the overhead. Goes oh, with the double two. And he's going to get a pick up. Oh, Whoa. what a conversion. What a conversion oh destroyer. But the scaling. God. But the scaling because he, he connected that off a down. I think it's going to do it. I think it's going to do it. It's, it's not, not going to. But the damage oh over time should be enough. Oh, my God. Calling out strike cameo destroyer. The magic. Going everything. He's going everything. Oh, and there it is. Into the Baraka, whatever the hell that move is called. Tweety tying things up here, Caboose. We got ourselves a game five situation already. Wow, what a crazy end to that set. Tweety with one of the craziest conversions into Fatal Blow that I have ever seen. And yes, for, for anybody who's asking actually, why is the Fatal, why did it scale so much? It's because it was comboed off of a down two. Down wow. two is gonna scale your damage a ton, why? no matter what. Why? But Tweety, Cashed out Why? big and it worked out, man. That could have been scary though, Destroyer. Why don't you do that, round. that to him? You must live in All right, land. listen here, Farty Basquez. Why the dumb to do that to him, man? Yeah, you get Destroyer back onto the mic. All right, we'll, we'll talk to you later. We got a meeting lined up. Why the dumb right. to do that to him, man? Oh my God, get this guy out of the damn office. I'm gonna go far. 
party for you, bad boys, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, nah, 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 party bad boys, get the hell out of here. Oh, look at this now, Destroyer Tweety. That's another easy 26%, and actually opts to switch the sides. I like and that. And choose where you want that special to drop your opponent off. That's real juicy stuff I'm witnessing right now. Let's see if Tweety can do something here with this fat life lead. Good blocks on the overhead. How the heck do these guys react to that caboose? I feel like whenever they, whenever the Oscar players throw the overheads at me, I can't, I can't see it coming. They can't see anything. I'm blind. And there oh, it is. Three immediately into Baraka Barrage. This is huge. Tweety's gonna be tying things up, putting himself on a match point situation right now. Dragon needs to go haywire. Breaker there from Dragon. Big Pipo. Big Pipo from Shippuden. Oh, and that second bit of the back three string again connects. Sometimes you don't expect that your opponent is going to toss up the full string. And you also don't realize the range that that string has. Block on the overhead there from Dragon. Looking all the right reactions. Okay, this is going to be a nice 40 burger right here if he doesn't drop it, Caboose. Wait, what? Didn't have the meter. Didn't have the meter. Oh, that's right. Too I mean, that was still some pretty juicy damage. He's chipping away at this life bar here. Tweety fighting back. Oh, my God. Striker. These competitors with the fatal destroyer. My stomach Dragon hurts. needs to tie the round. My he stomach hurts. The game. There it is. The breaker. Oh, Sereno. Single Sereno cameo toss. Dragon just gonna zone it out here to he try and end this round. He needs to be careful round. with that jump in, and there it is. The down two anti air. Dragon staying alive. We got ourselves a final game, final everything situation here. People get hyped. My goodness, the winner between these two competitors will move on to the winner's finals to face off against Honeybee. The position to be in to just maintain your position on the winner's side. Tweety, hungry for it. Dragon, he be just as hungry. But look at this battle destroyer. Tweety, once again, dominating in the corner. Gets out. Oh my god. One hit'll do it, destroyer. Flawless block. Nicely done there from Dragon. Only a true master Not comeback cool. here, Caboose. Only a true master comeback. That's the situation that we're in here. Oh, the Sereno cameo connects, and there it is. Just tosses out the back forward three, just like that. Fatality incoming. We're having Ostra Shish Kebab tonight. My God. Look at this. This is such a brutal fatality. There's going to rip her limb from limb. Ostra says, ah! <laughs> And then they just start eating her alive, and oh my god, what a fatality. You'd love to see it. Unbelievable stuff. And always, like, ever since you mentioned it the first time, whenever whenever that happens, and you see Striker standing there, he's like, uh, you, you're under arrest after, but it was a good fight, Brock. A good job. Nah, Striker pulls up and he goes, huh? 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 Oh. Huh? Oh. Well, so with that win, Tweety will be moving on Destroyer to the winner's finals. He'll be facing off against Honeybee a bit later on. Dragon sent down to the loser side. He's going to await the winner of our next match, which is Hourglass of Rain. Ooh. And I'm your Alpha. Okay, so Alpha said to invite his other account, which is Young Monster 12. Is that in the drop your PSNs thing? Um... Young you know Monster what? 12? I can send it to you real quick. I think I got it. Let me find it's it. just I Young it, it. Monster 12. All right, and I got to invite Hourglass of Rain. It's Young Monster 12. What are you, stupid? No, I'm kidding. Imagine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Relax. You're really pissing me off. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, man. All right, and then Farty Vasquez. All right, invites are being sent. Oh, my God. This is for our loser side now, Destroyer. These are the matches where it's do or die time. These competitors need to win. Otherwise, the loser is eliminated. Oh, scary when you put it like that, man. It's a tough and, position to be in for and, sure, especially this this late into the game. I was just going to say that we are like literally two more weeks after this, and there's no more spots for people to enter the $4,000 Mega Million Dollar Tournament.
Unfortunately. The Mega Millions. Yeah, there this you the go. Mega, this is the Mega Millions tournaments right here. All right. Destroyer is AFK. The competitors are ready to go. Now, we actually didn't see anything from these guys during the pool play on Wednesday in terms of on-stream matches. But uh, both of them managed to make the top eight on the loser's side. Hourglass well, of Rain. Let me tell you something about Hourglass of Rain real quick. This this guy, uh, he's been dominating the Coliseum. Uh, shout out to Mr. Aquaman. So this dude's a serious player. Well, Hourglass rocking the Molina. Hourglass of Rain's a serious player. I think he's pretty unserious. Nah, I heard he's a fusion of like Dexy Dog, Hella Larry, and all the other Molinas. This is the oh final. This is the final form right here. This is the Megazord of Molina. Players. This is the Mega Godzilla, Mega Godzilla of Molinas right here. There we go. All right, well, let's see how this goes down here. Game one, well underway, Destroyer. And uh, Hourglass gonna get this thing started now. Man, Molina combos feel like they go on for my entire lifespan. Okay, wait a second. Low hats. One frame projectiles. And another Serena um, Aqua combo here. This is a really popular pick. I'm telling you right now, like, we all knew in the beginning that Serena was a problem. But specifically with Aqua, she works really well. That's right. Serena is definitely a solid cameo, especially if you're having trouble landing or getting combos going with any character on the roster. But she definitely is complimented the best alongside Ashra, just because her tools are utilized oh, to their fullest extent. Nicely done there. Young Monster can most likely close this one out. Cashes out immediately with that fatal blow. This? Do a ton of damage. Yeah. Is this gonna kill? I, yo, if it does, <laughs> I'm done with this character. We're about to find out right now. I think this it is. Last bit. Oh my oh, god! Just about, and there we go. The single knife toss from Tony Serino. 477 off of that is bananas. Crazy stuff. Hourglass of Rain putting the pressure here. Goes with the low string from Tony Molino. Oh, beautiful stuff. Very nice pickup combo there. Hourglass. Wow. You know one thing I'm seeing about Young Monster? He doesn't mind wow. playing in the, in the purple sword stance at all. This yeah, is the stance that a lot of Aqua's don't really be going for. Those resets destroyer were clean. Those BB Ungaki is really good. 100%. Oh no, gets hit by the hat off the teleport there. And this is a punish of the block on the ball roll. Oh my god. Tags him with that low projectiles. That was a crazy whip punish from Hourglass of Rain. Looking to type the round, drops a combo with the pickup. Jeez. He got lucky there. Dropping combos against a player like Young Monster, you're asking for trouble. Oh, missed time from Lao Hat. Wasn't able to keep himself safe. So that ball roll gets blown up big time by Young Monster. He said his bowels exploded. Yeah, he had a big bowel move. Good throw. This is a dominating round right now. Young Monster in full control here. Our glass of rain. Is gonna take the L there. Tough stuff there. Young Monster was ready and pretty much blocked any of the YOLO ball rolls or teleports that you normally expect out of a Molina player. Hourglass might need to rethink the game plan here going into game two. Man, today has... Wait, is Chat correct? People are saying that is Young Monster's... Uh, is Young Monster Revit Leafing's little brother? Uh, I know... They're twin brothers, but I don't know the oh. age difference between them. <laughs> well, if they're twins, <laughs> wouldn't the age difference be like? I don't. I don't know which one. I don't seconds know. to minutes. I don't know which <laughs> one. I don't know which one is is twelve minutes older. <laughs> Are they actually twins? Uh, yeah, they're they're definitely twins. Oh, nice. All right, that's it. I'm ending the stream. Okay. Wow, what is happening right now? Did somebody forget yeah, to go what's AFK? Going on? I got scared for a second. I was like, wait. Uh, hourglass, hourglass in the chat saying, "Yo, the ping is really high." Really? 
Do we want to get them to send us invites? Let's get Let's get them to send invites. All Stop right, hourglass. Bang, dude. Stop the music. Hourglass. If you set up a, a Forever King, just go to um, play together and then invite us. I mean, look, we don't know what the players are feeling, but the match looked pretty smooth to me. I think the best way to do it is we will send the invites if a player has an issue with the connection. At least that way, they have all our PSNs already since we're all in the same lobby, so then they can just go to play together well, dude, and send the invites seriously? super quick. Friggin' uh, Young Monster has been getting dogpiled, right? Everyone's saying he's got bad connection. And I mean, if, if that's the case moving forward, <laughs> this guy's gonna get dogpiled out of the tournament, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> get DQ'd out of the brackets, man. Relax. Well, let's, let's not worry about that until we get to that point. I can't believe he just charged up the ball roll like that. Went freaking Super Saiyan in midair. What's the uh, ping saying when you check it right now? Right now it says 112 for Young Monster, 80 for uh, Hourglass of Rain, and then 612 for you. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Good patience right now, Brad's pack. Gonna go with the ball row, and that is gonna be a nasty confirm here. Oh, these resets are crazy, Destroyer. Teleporting to get to the other side of your opponent and then mixing them with an overhead or a low? Yeah, that was kind of disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Hourglass of Rain was looking a little confused in that situation, but still gonna cash out on the dammy, taking the round. Melina injecting herself with the Vex Milk Syringe that I've been telling you guys, it gives you a lot of power. Gives you a lot of pipo? Gives you a lot of pipo. Oh my god, went full Sonic the Hedgehog in the air. Crazy stuff from Melina here. Oh, oh my gosh. god, and the second blade in the Sereno cameo. I think Hourglass of Rain had the right idea there. Knew the, the correct punish to go for the ball roll at that exact moment, but a little mistiming. Got him screwed over, and now Young Monster trying to cash out on this round here. Going with cancels. Patience from both these competitors right now. Young Monster trying to steal this round. Oh my goodness. The hit confirm he just didn't go for the back cameo destroyer. Oh wait, the overhead. This is bad. Into fatal. That confirms. Is that the round? Did Young Monster just steal this one? I think that's highway robbery destroyer. Yeah, that's gonna highway do it. Highway freaking robbery. That's going to do it. Hourglass of Rain was looking to get one round, one game on the board here, but Young Monster said not yet. Young Lag Switch said not yet, sir. <laughs> he flipped the switch. He flipped the switch, literally spiked the ping up to 300 and cashed out on the W. What a savage. Oh my goodness. Don't up. impress me. No unstoppable destroyer. Young Monster now trying to carry the momentum off of stealing that round to then close out this game. <laughs> I mean, this is even Stevens right now. This is even Stevens. Oh, good! Trying to get the conversion. Got him off of the breaker. Young Monster just needs one more touch here to tie this up. I think she, she could have caught a conversion off of those Serenos there, no? Maybe. Might have been, yeah. That's, that's oh, oh, the neutral oh jump on it. Those reads were crazy. That had to be because of 160 ping right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Check the ping right now, Caboose. Check it. That's crazy. Oh, oh it says his ping is uh, 7 million. <laughs> oh, aside, though, well done there from Young Monster to secure that second game. Young Ping Master right now, up two games to zero on Hourglass of Rain. I don't know what's going to happen here, but let's see how this goes down. 
tough position to be in for sure if you are hourglass of rain right now especially to a young monster stealing that round hourglass just needed a couple more hits to get a game on the board that round steal just completely shifted the momentum of that set or of that match specifically very nice start here for your uh, hourglass of rain Oh, caught the low there. Maybe wasn't expecting to. I'm liking the staggers right now from Hourglass of Rain. Gonna tag him with the overhead. Okay. Hourglass being very patient here. Finding those openings. Just allow Hat into the overhead. It's so hard to block that. Gonna charge up the purple blade. That is gonna uh -oh. be a devastating whip punish there. Young Monster gonna cast out on way more damage. Brad's pack looking to take this round with a three sticks of butter knives, babe. Maybe hold him block there three was actually out, what allowed Hourglass to secure that round as it kind of weirdly put Young Monster into reach. Oh, that's a big punish. Three sticks of butter knives, babe. Three sticks of butter knives, babe. Oh, rolled in. Still hasn't called him loud hat. That's two things about it now, baby. Her head just to bash out the damage on that combo gets caught by the Serena cameo. You know, is that a point where like I'm trying to say Serena, but I'm my mind is just hardwired to Tony Serena. Tony Serena is honestly better. They should just straight up change her entire name in the lore to Serena. You're telling me that I got to hit up Ed Boon right now and I got to say they got to change their name. Yo, this is some crazy stuff Young Monster is doing right now. This dude is mixing. Oh, no. He is literally jumbling Hourglass of the Rain's brain. He's hitting him with a chicken jambalaya. Yeah, oh he said my. he's got some jambalaya in here. The Armadillo's got some jambalaya. That's why he's so calm in the background. You don't, yo, like, it. look at that ginormous armadillo in that small ass cage. You, he can break out of that whenever he wants. He's doing all right. He's doing okay. He can break out of that whenever he wants. The the Tarkatans gave him a cool little, uh, little paint job. They gave him chicken jambalaya. So what's wrong with that? Oh my goodness. Finally, a YOLO ball roll is going to connect. Another YOLO ball roll. Well, actually, that's not calculated to get punished. Oh, beautiful stuff here from Hourglass of Rain. Had the opportunity to close out this game. Wow. Yes, indeed. There it is. Hourglass not going to get 3 0'd. Puts a game on the board. Remember, this is the loser side of the bracket as well. Do or die time for these competitors. So, Chad, Caboose wants to know why the mask never falls down. I. Why? How does it just stay floating there on her chest? Chat, can anybody explain? If, if anyone can explain to us how the mask the doesn't fall down, What's we'll the give physics? you a PlayStation 5. Wow. I never said that. Caboose will personally hey. ship you a PlayStation 5 if anybody hey. can give us a logical reason why that mask does not fall down her face. You know what? Fine, yeah. If you can give me a logical reason why it doesn't fall down, then I'll give you a PS5. Somebody's gonna be like, she's got super glue on her neck. So when she drops it down, <laughs> she gets stuck right there. I like Wonka Bar's answer. I think that deserves a, P a PS5. We're Wonka Bar. Oh, it's held up by those Vex Milk syringes. I'm gonna need a ban on Wonka Bar's in the chat. Big combo in coming here, Destroyer from Young Monster to send Hourglass into the corner. Hourglass though breaking out immediately. Yeah, he's breaking out in freaking Dark Eye. Holy smokes, Destroyer. Did you see the damage on that combo? That was really good. This dude is waking up. I think ever since he, he hosted the lobby, he's got host advantage, so now he's able to take <laughs> now he's able to take full advantage of the reaction. This is the Dexy Dog Hella Larry. Uh, what other Melinas we have the in the back here? The, the Mecha Godzilla of Melinas right here. Hold on though, Young Monster not ready to give out just yet. He said, I got another leg switch coming for you, buddy. 
Oh, good cancel. Okay. Oh, Over and gonna connect. Stuff there. This is gonna close it out, and that's gonna be putting match Young point. Master Deluxe on match point. Young match point. Look at the patience from Brad's pack. I'm not gonna look. He said, Hi, it's me. I will glass away. I got the Brad pack. We gotta get you locked up. <laughs> That wasn't even me, bro. What's good with you? We gotta, we gotta put you in. What's good with you? That wasn't even me talking. We, we're gonna put you in solitary. You know what? Me. 1v1 me in Call of Duty right now. Oh, you wanna go? 1v1 me in Call of Duty Zombies right now. Hit me now. up in Halo Infinite right now. Ah, bro, you know what? I'm top 10 in the world. Yo, Brad's Pack looking to put us in a Game 5 situation. All I'm thinking about is the uh, the maids work cleaning up this mansion after this fight. When Consuela pulls up to clean up the mess. Oh my god, no way your monster makes us come back. She goes. <laughs> Bro, you know one touch into Fatal Blow is all he needs. But Brad's Pack does have the breaker available. Upper glass of rain, aka Brad's Pack, aka Pink Flamingo, aka Johnny Cage's Mansion. How many nicknames does this guy have? A lot. Ten seconds left on the clock. The overhead, hard to blockable with the Kung Lao hat setup. Another game five destroyer. Oh my God. Becky, look at her. What time? All I'm gonna say is, I low key feel like there's a lot of pressure on Young Monster 12. <laughs> if, he, if, there is. if he loses this match, Caboose, he's not gonna hear the end of it. I'll tell you oh, that they, much. They're they, they, they coming for him. Oh, he's got an angry they, mouth they with pitchforks ready to catch him slipping. Let's see if Young Monster can defend his honor here. I'm your alpha, a.k.a. Young Monster, a.k.a. What's the name of this state? Oh, I think this is, um... I like that name. It's a uh, good name. It's a good name. Ooh, goes over the Kung Lao hat. Smacks him with the purple mist. Oh my god, good stuff, son of the Tony Serenos. Gonna set up another Kung Lao hat, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. What's it gonna be? Brad's pack. Our glass of rain. Pipe umkaki. Umkaka pipe land. The duck. He's getting so intense. Whoa, that was a punish? What the heck? Chimps win. That was some crazy knowledge from Young Monster and that delayed jump in, avoiding the up block. Smart stuff. Young lag switch. <laughs> Gonna hit him with the plus frame. Come on, man. Catches him again with the plus frame. Oh, the air to air. Nicely done there from Young Monster. I will. On the one. On the one. On the one. You said you want to watch Moana? It's a movie. I like it. Uh, no, real talk, you gotta hit me up when you finally watch Brendan Fraser's The Whale. Why, just to see him tumbling down the stairs? Nah. Jesus oh lord, he just ran the timer. That was disgusting. Young Monster right now on match point. Better playing their hearts out here, Destroyer. They really Love are. See it. I mean, Albert Glass of Rain is literally on the verge of a reverse 3-0. A reverse party vast quest. Oh. oh! Oh my god. That's gonna hurt. Huge with the side switch. That just unstoppable wake oh. up from Young Monster. He didn't Has the match point he didn't convert, Caboose. Oh no, he hit the like switch, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. This could spell the end. The confirm Young Monster. Young like switch. Young Chiquilla. I mean, Young Monster gonna take it. And pops the fatality. Wow. Beautiful stuff there, honestly, from Young Monster with this Ashra. And actually, we'll move on 
to face off against Dragon. Another Astra. Yeah, that's going to be a crazy one. That is going to be a crazy one. Hopefully Dragon doesn't call him Young Lag Switch and everything's fine. That's gonna be that's gonna be insane to see the uh, to see him call him Ashra Young Switch. Sare- that yeah, too, it but is. to see the Ashra Sereno, yeah, it is gonna be crazy if he calls him uh, Young Lag Switch. Yeah. Match. Hey, if you if you interrupt me ever again, I'm calling Forty Vasquez, and he's gonna bring all the jars he has stored up over the last ten years. He's gonna open them all up in your house. That's nasty, bro. Don't tell me that. Well, then then don't interrupt. Me. All right, you know what? You got it. All right, so our next match here, Destroyer, should be Gurr against Walter White. Yo. Ooh, I'm actually excited about this one. I There's mean, another Gurr, one you could see as a, as a grand finals, you know? No, for sure. And Gurr kind of had a rough run on uh, Wednesday. After yep. that Tweety match, the dude was literally a chicken jambalaya. He had no idea what was happening anymore. <laughs> What's he doing in the, in the jambalaya today? He's a chicken jambalaya. Let's take a look at the bracket here <laughs> right now. The winner's final is, <laughs> is looking real juicy. Oh, Gurr invited looking us. Gurr like invited us. Gurr invited us. Okay, all right. Everybody's Yo, shout in- out to the players for being quick with that. Everybody's inviting it. us. I like that. I like that. Listen, if you want to send the invites, just let us know. Yeah. Let us know in the and, court, please. And Okay, uh, another thing, too, that's really important. If you guys are going to send the invites... At least make sure you're checking who for that me and Destroyer are in the lobby before you hit start match. That way we both can make sure we're spectating and we can commentate for the tournament and we can say Walter White, yo. All right, here we go. Uh, we got nine seconds to get this popping, and there it, it did is. It. We wow. have the next match underway. Love I, it. Listen, we're dealing with t- with tournament veterans here. I I, I don't expect that. nothing less, you know. But this is gonna I be do. it. We got Walter White, yo. Skyler White, yo. Going up against Geraldo, aka Top Siete Games, aka huh? Giovanni's Pizzas. You'll only be on set one oh, day, okay. buddy. In and out. I was like, where are you going the with this? Answer is still no. <laughs> Good start there for Geraldo. Oh, nice jump in. Get wrecked. Yo, tell me how I just realized that Gears got his bare feet out on this skin. You know, it makes me feel like this is the outfit he wore when this man finally met extraterrestrial life forms in the outer space. <laughs> and, and they told him to take off his shoes in the ship. And that's what he did. And they were like, wear this. <laughs> okay. I will do this. Oh, man. <laughs> it must be a... Freaking time traveling bum at this point. Man, it probably stinks under there. Golly. Wow, the pressure right now from Skylar White, yo. It's not gonna be enough to stop Geraldo. Zer, very recently, Destroyer, like you mentioned to me off stream, popped up in a Champions of the Realms arena against. Why? Bro, don't even. Like, this. You need to watch that set, for real. When you have time and you got a nice meal or a nice snack, pull that up and check that set out. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to have to check that out and see how it all went down. But it's good to see that Gur still leading into this top eight, was making sure he got his games in, putting in as much work as he can with Gears. Oh, poor Gears has got to go to Giovanni's. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, bro. Big shout-outs to the homie Skeptum. But tell me how Skeptum actually pulled up and threw $300 for that set. No way. I'm not even trolling, bro. So, Get them crazy. Even even more hype for you to witness. And there it is. Gurr gonna be taking your what was that? This man gave him a choke slam from hell! Holy smokes. Good game one there for Gurr. He's gonna Thanos snap his fingers Yo. and eradicate half of the universe just like that. What was that airstream? This dude literally just froze time, went to train with the Undertaker. And he pulled up and choke slammed this dude. Or is it is it Kane? Who did the choke slam? I think it's Kane. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's exactly what happened. He came out, he did the white eyes. Every time he gets knocked down, he sits up. You only be on 
Every time he farts, he goes back 10 paces. Calls up Vasquez. They're jumping right back into this. Get right, the old Skyler White. Yo, let's see if he can adapt to this ridiculous Gearish player. Grr. Oh, that's a good start right here for Get Right, yo. Gonna put the low hat on their ground. Oh, this is the classic Johnny Cage Kung Lao Deluxe sequences. Somebody in the chat said they gotta get a modder to make it so the Kung Lao's hat is modded into a Giovanni's pizza box. Oh, that'll be so sick. Uh -oh. The overhead. Destroyer. Skeptum's looking for the Macharino link. Okay, hide it. Hide it from him. Hide it from him. Hide it from him. Don't <laughs> we'll let him see it. Hold him back. Hold him back. Please <laughs> stop this guy. He's going crazy. Oh my god. Yo, we got almost 800 people watching live. Thank you all for tuning in. This is week six of Champions of the Realms. Look at that fatal blow there from Get Wreck. And that's to gonna steal do that it. round. That's gonna do it. This fatal blow, when I look, I talk about fatal blows not scaling a lot. This is the king of, of fatal blows not scaling. This shoots up from 313 to 364. For what? For what? Now tell me for what. For what? For was. For what? It's me for Yer, was. Let's go! Oh, it's me for Wasminator. Yer! Low hats after low hats after low hats. Gurr just blocking the relentless Johnny Cage pressure that everybody adores. Do you see Mama Juana in the background going crazy right now, bro? She's like, yeah, get him! The down close from Geraldo. Oh, you see that guy in the background? He said, it's Waz. <laughs> Waz he said, yo, let's go. Wazmanita said, I don't want you guys fighting here no more. Please leave. Yo. Oh my God, he's got him oh, in the corner. Get wrecked. Trying to close this one out and tie up the set. And indeed he, he will get wrecked. Closes out the game. Beautiful stuff there with Johnny going to say, hey, yeah, bring it. Boom. This is not Jean-Claude Van Damme. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is Johnny Cage. My fault. Are you okay? My fault. Man, I don't know about this one, Caboose. These players are gonna be tying things up one apiece right now. This is looking to be a bloodbath, if you ask me. And what if I don't ask you? Then I'm gonna need you to get Brendan Fraser's The Whale to compensate with me. I can get him. Get him right now. Stop the music. I just wanted one thing. Stop the music. Mr. Frazier, I want to ask you. Why? My movies always why? So Why'd you do it? Uh, hi, it's me, uh, uh, Brendan Frazier's The Whale. I do this. Put it off. I do this. I do the people. Brendan Fraser's The Whale, ladies and gentlemen, on the mic. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys later. Have a good night. All right, cut the stream. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Go, I can't commentate anymore. Really good opening. <laughs> He's gonna go with the. <laughs> Good luck, punch. Oh, look at this. Get wrecked. Trying to be the ultimate comeback machine. If there's any character that can absolutely do that with a life deficit, it's Johnny Cage and Kung Lao. Gur trying to salvage this round, Destroyer. Get wrecked, Oh, my though. God. Walter White, yo. Oh, no, gets caught by the Lao hat, and Get Wrecked makes the full comeback. Dude. Dude. Good block on the low hat. He just walks up to him and throws a command throw. What a Man. savage. That was Another gnarly, command dude. throw. He did it again, dude. Bro, two command throws back to back. Is he going to triple up on this? That's your bro, dude. All right, dude. Good jump over. That's your bro, guy. Hey. 
here, bro. I'm not your dude, guy. All right. Oh! It is so intense. The throw is going to connect for Get Rex to send Gur into the corner. Well, let's block on the Lao Hat. Now Gur activating a Lao Hat of his own. Dashes in with the teleport. He, oh, sorry, with the, the throw. With, with the Fipo. Bro, with he's deleting Fipo. his health bar with just command throws and regular throws. Look at this. Just the strike throw game right now is very reminiscent of MK11 Gearus. Back when he was 200 pounds thicker. Fine. He leaned out a little for MK1, huh? He did. He had to cut back on the uh, on the McDonald's. I mean, that's what happens when you're stuck in like, the world between worlds for Eon. Yeah, that's you know? what happened when Liu Kang talks your head off at Eons. <laughs> Overhead attempt there. Such a safe option for Gearus Destroyer. I heard every single altercation Gearus and Liu Kang had ended with Liu Kang saying, You have chosen war with a god. With a god. Oh, what a perfectly timed armor attempt there from Gearus. Gonna go for yet again another throw. Throw connects the destroyer. Good block. Very tough right now. Okay, oh, and there's the parry. Oh, no, or the you breaker, would have I, I would have cried. An absolute sanity. But for the jump back, gets caught. Doesn't have the meter to survive. And that'll be it. Get wrecked, yo. Walter White, yo. Up to one. Beautiful stuff. Gurr's gonna have to make a quick adjustment here if he wants to see the light of day moving forward in this bracket, Caboose. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is literally do or die. Like, anybody in this top eight, they... they Need to get, out of time. They need to get that first place spot because the next two weeks, Caboose, I have a bad feeling about it. It's going to be a monster mash. Mm. Yeah. A monster mash. I don't buy you don't think so? Nope. Well, you're right, though. Seriously, with only two more weeks left after this week, I mean, these competitors really got to fight it out to get into the finale, especially now that our prize pool is at $4,500 this year. Skeptic with another $200 donation to the Matcherino. $4,500 in the Matcherino? Yo, dude, at this point, Caboose, this is a major tournament. I don't care what anybody says. And 100%. And, you know, I think I heard no, Skeptic no, no. say in the chat that he was going to give 600 subs to the channel as well. <laughs> Wait, what? what? What, huh? Really good shadow kick. Blocks Black after blocks. Yeah, catches him with the punish. Wait a second. Get wrecked, yo, Skylar White, yo. All right, these players are gaming. Well, folks, there's a command grab. A clothesline that you get off that command grab, my goodness. <laughs> he literally just slammed himself into the low hat. That oh, might no. have hurt. Did he oh, catch no. him here? Oh, so scary to be in that position, but Gurr is able to maintain and take the round. Oh, no. Are you serious? Did that just happen? I think Gurr disconnected. This happened last time. He was on stream. Let me see. Ooh. Yeah, hold on. Stop the music. Stop the music. Um, I mean, he was up the round. Can can like what what what's the call here? I swear, I'm gonna break my money there. <laughs> All right, look. We, we got we got uh we, we got the match rolling back. Gur literally getting a blessing in disguise. I think Gur right is in the Christmas spirit. Gonna allow him to replay this set here. So let's see how this goes down. But no, seriously, Gur, you gotta, gotta, gotta get give that. It up to you get gotta wrecked. get that fixed, bro. You gotta give it up to Get Rex for allowing this match to just get restarted here. Once again, as mentioned, Get Rex is up two to one in the set. Let's see though if. Uh, up the little uh, lag out situation, Gur is able to run this one back. Goes for the breaker. Oh, just two hourglasses he got out there. You know what he did? Gur Whatever. disconnected so he could lab real quick. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's what happened. 
are just outside of the Fatal Blow territory, and never mind. There it is. Okay, Gur trying to close this out. Very tight. So close between these two competitors. Oh, but he has to have him in the breaker. Both tossing out the Lao Hat Destroyer. Oh, the meter burn shadow kick. Gur trying to get the turn. Oh my goodness, it's so close. He gets the opening. Gur closes okay. the round. Okay, this is and now we're right back where exactly we started. This is exactly where we left off here. So now there get wrecked, go. and now you can start playing for real. Perfect. Get wrecked, was, get wrecked was recreating the entire scenario that we left off at. You'll love to see it. Percent destroyer. This is exactly what I like to see. With flawless blocking here from Gur. Best defense oh. is a good offense. Into the wall. Boom! Right through. And now a glass is set up in case he gets caught in a combo or a situation he does not want to be in. Ooh, look at that. The low into the Lao Hat oh, can never overhead. get wrecked. I'm, I'm loving uh, Gur's counter attack options. You know, he's going for the command throw, going for the overhead. Like, he's really keeping you guessing, keeping you on your toes at every single moment. Geraldo, a problem. Is it not about it, Geraldo? <laughs> and now the rounds are all tied up as Destroyer absolutely just annihilates the underwear in his pants right now. Good throw. Get right, yo. Skylar White, yo. Go for the jump in. Puts the hat on the ground. Lao Hat after Lao Hat here, Destroyer. Mama Juana. Oh, Ooh. good command grab. Goes for it again, and Wait. it gets neutral duck that time. That was one of the craziest neutral ducks ever. It was almost instant. Get wrecked. Yeah, you pretty much couldn't see it. I happen. definitely didn't even see it. You didn't see anything. What? Did he do another one? You can't even see. Wait, what's happening? Who's playing? Where am what I? Is Who am I? What planet are we on? Planet Pipi Unkaki. Exactly where I wanted to be. Thank God. Get wrecked right now, looking to close this out. He just needs one oh, more touch, and this no. could potentially be GG's. Rising stand. Disconnects again. Wait, wait, no. Destroyer. Oh my God. I think you just hit it with the ultimate commentator's curse of all of life, Destroyer. Wait, There's 50 seconds on the clock. Did Gurr mess up the combo? Did Gurr mess up the combo? I don't know. I don't know if it was that or if he, he just wanted to reset Bring it. some kind. No, I think that, like, hit, why another would another you, opening. I don't think that was intentional, bro. Why would you put yourself in that situation, go with the, the Lao Hat teleport? They wasn't even plus in that setup. That had to have been a mistake. Very, very, very unfortunate. Gurr fumbling the craziest potential comeback. And that's going to be a GG's. Get Wreck taking it 3-1. That's right. Well, actually, 4-1. Or oh, not Mr. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take it back. No, no, no. Take it back. My bad. My 4 bad. 1. What are you talking about? Maybe he did go for a setup. I think that's exactly what he was trying to do there, Destroyer. Unless he was going for the. Like a different Kung Lao input. Wow. With the cameo. I don't know. Tough stuff, though. I mean. Very unfortunate. Gurr has been eliminated from the tournament this week, but there is still two weeks left. It's going to get the, the, the grip is going to get tighter on the next two weeks, but Gurr is such a solid competitor. I imagine we're going to see him in at least one of, if not both of the next top eights that we're going to see in the final weeks for Champions of the Realms. But Get Wreck does move on and will inevitably be facing off against King Gambler. Now, Destroyer, correct me if I'm wrong, but are we continuing here on the loser side into Dragon and I'm your Alpha, aka Young Monster, aka Young Lag Switch? Uh, yes, let's let's go ahead. Dragon, if you're watching the stream, you can go ahead and send over those invites. And he already did. He already Fantastic. did. Fantastic. Beautiful. Fantastic. This is exactly what I would love to see right now. You, know? you said you want to change your name to Fantasia. You know, I was actually planning on it. Yeah, it's a nice name. It, it suits you real nice. But let's check out this bracket. Right now, we're stepping into Dragon versus I'm Your Alpha, a.k.a. Young Monster, a.k.a. Young Latch Switch, a.k.a. Young Ping Master Flex. And then after that, we're going to be dropping down to the second match in the loser side where it's going to be King Gambler versus Get Wrecked Yo, Skylar White Yo, Go AFK no Yo. My bad. Sorry, Yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Yo. All right, next match underway here now between Dragon 
and Young Monster. Two Ashras, two Serenas. You also desire absolution. I seek it with every swipe of my blade. Ah, oh, this should be crazy, man. I'm not ready for this match. There you are. I'm leaving. Oh, oh goodbye. They're both using Ashra, Tony Sereno. This is about to be wild. Yo, wake me up when this is over. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> One of the few true mirrors that we actually have seen in Champions of the Realm Destroyer. Oh, and look at this. Young Monster going to get things started, actually. Oh, drops the combo big time, though. And the up block dragon now answers back. Destroyer is asleep. He's like cartoon snoring right now. You know he's... Oh, he woke up. He's awake. He's awake, guys. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Oh, that was a weird trade right there. Gonna go with the purple stuff. Goes across the other side. Young Monster gonna get the jump in. This is gonna hurt. Oh my god, Dragon's leaking. He's leaking all over the floor. Round two, fight. He's a leaky blinders. You like that show, huh? One of my favorites. Wow, Ashra working as a meat shield there. My Yo, that, that little seat, the stuff he does with the purple sword is crazy. What the, what the heck is going on here? This is such an interesting showcase of one competitor, Dragon, who mainly uses the light side of Asher's powers, and then Young Monster, who uses the dark side. Young Mountain Lag Switchers. Yeah, okay. The second, the back and forth right now. He's gonna charge up the blade, goes for the throw. Dragon, PP Unkaki, goes for the jump in, but that's gonna be a crazy trip guard from Young Monsters. Oh my god. <laughs> Tries to tag him with the low into the Tony Serino. Both players just poking at each other's toes here. They're playing literal footsies. Chicken in the toes? This is Twinkle, the, the Twinkle Toes match. My goodness, tied up on the rounds here in this mirror match destroyer. Twinkle Toes. Again, use your side of the bracket. Like you've mentioned, Destroyer. Considering there aren't a ton of weeks left here in Champions of the Realm, it only makes the competition that much more intense for these competitors. Being on that loser's bracket is a real tough position to be in. Let's see who can manage that level of pressure. Oh my god. We're gone. Throwing projectiles all over the place, Caboose. Oh, both of them throwing out the blaze at the same time, plus rain oh. projectiles. Dragon. Dragon utilizing the dark energy to get the full screen projectile. That's oh, right. and yeah, teleports in to get the punish. Are you kidding me? That was disgusting. Avoiding the Tony Serino. Going to cash out on 410 from that combo, Caboose. Wowzers. And the overhead oh, no. connects. This it's might just fatal. about do it. I think he's I done. think it will. Yeah, that's right. Young Monster, I believe, has stolen that with the fatal blow. That's going to be the game. Very unfortunate, too, because Dragon was like a sneeze away from having enough meter to actually get the breaker. 48% off the fatal blow combo. And Young Monster takes game one. Says, okay, I can turn on my leg. Switch now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know how I feel about that, but let me tell you, the Ashra Tony Serino pick is devastating. This is literally the uh, the highlight of today's tournament. I might have to pick up Ashra Tony Serino, honestly. Nah, nothing's you, gonna you... get you off of Omni Man. Yeah, you're right. I can't get over those thighs. <laughs> I can't get over those Omni thighs. What can I say? I only play the character just to look at the visuals of him. I'm with you on that. And then, you know, I really like sometimes when you stand switch and the cape moves a little to the side, and then you get the full view of the full package, the Omni... Okay, let me snap. The full Omni cheek. Thank you, dude. Can you put the music back on? Thank you. 
Thank you. Oh my goodness, Dragon with a healthy 42% damage combo. Destroyer gets caught for the wake up though. Young Monster now looking to have a turn. Ooh, the overhead connects. 275, goes for the purple. The purple jam. Dragon ready for the teleport. Yo, oh my god, I just realized. I think Jade might have taught out for the purple stuff. Right? You realize that now? Right? What you think? You know what I think? What? Genuinely? What? I think you need to go back to looking at pictures of Optimus Man's eyes. You still got a lot to learn. <laughs> Good block on the overhead. These players are just flying the all over the screen. They're hitting each other with shot Yo, this Ten is seconds so, left this on the clock. So Destroyer. Close. Dragon has a life lead. Oh my god, I think he might win this. Three, two, and there one. it is. There it is. Tony Serena with the coverage. The full license in Sherman's coverage. Tony Serena. Tried to jump in, get shut down there. By the way, for anybody who is confused, Dragon is the Ashra in the white. And Young Monster is the Ashra in the red and the black. <laughs> I actually, I accidentally, Spanky Doodle had the name flip, so it, it must have been so much more confusing. Man, Spanky Doodle's a big spooky idiot. Hey, 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 listen, he's got... What? What? He's got a serious what has case... What he got? A serious case of hemorrhoids this weekend. Give him a break. Oh, my God. All right, he's struggling. My bad. He can barely, he can barely walk in the this studio. One out. Warrior Dragon is going to tie up this set one to one. The Ashra mirror match. Proven to me, I mean, quite the back and forth. No, really, man. This is looking real juicy. Both players up one game. Let's see how this pans out. And it looks like nobody's going to be switching off of the Ashra Sereno anytime soon. We do know Dragon has a Tanya going to put it on you with the Goro, with the Batanya. But I, I think he's gonna stick it out with the mirror. What hell spawned you? <laughs> you will never find out. Here we go now, Destroyer. Well into game three. I mean, how well did you had just started? But we're about to be. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go look at the pictures of Omni Man's eyes. <laughs> Good backups here. Young Monster trying to zone out a little bit. Goes for the Ooh, empty jump in into the punish. throw punish. Beautiful stuff. 110 damage into the third uh, pulse a lot. I thought Dragon went for the up block, so I was expecting it to do a ton more damage. I guess not. Yo, Nips in the chat. We got Nips in the chat. Shout out to CGL. Big shout out. Kind of just jumping back here. Switches the blade stance. Oh my god, a lot of staggers happening right now. I don't even know who's who, but it looks like Young Monster is dishing out some damage here. Gonna cash out on 366. Teleports to the other side. And... Oh my god. You okay? <laughs> Oh, interrupted. Nicely done there from Young Monster. And the breaker from Dragon. Oh my god. Dragon's the only, he's the only Ashra we see doing this. And it might be because of his lag switch. You mean Young Monster? What I call him? The Dragon. Oh, my bad. Hey. 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 <laughs> Hey! Good punish there. Dragon does have the life lead here, looking to tie up the rounds right now. Oh, but oh my hurts. god, he actually got split this by hurts. the Serenos. Spending the two bars destroyer to cash out on 47%. My goodness, Dragon back oh, against the wait, wall, quite literally. Oh! oh. 
Oh my punish. god, that would have been a punish. It could have been punish. huge, but punish. the poke on the backdash. Young monsters going up two games to one here on Dragon. If Young Monster eliminates Dragon from this tournament, oh, that is a huge upset. Yeah, I'm scared. Young Monster now up two to one. Destroyer. What a back and forth. What a mirror match. Actually, yeah, wait. Did people put in their channel points? They did. 61% voting for Dragon, 39 for Young Monster. So it it would be an upset, but not by that much. Actually, fairly close in terms of the uh, the channel point vote, uh, voting there. Hey, no spoilers in the chat. Hey, no spoilers in the chat. Hey, hey did go you, watch it on... Did you Oh, did you YouTube. hear the Did you hear the story actually that apparently the uh, flamingo balloon in the, in the water back there that's actually Quan Chi in disguise? Oh my god! Yeah, when you deflate it, it goes like. <laughs> no way! Yeah. Crazy! Oh my god, bro! Somebody just walked into my my. Wait, who is that? Quan Chi? <laughs> you will never touch this. You can never get this. <laughs> Unbelievable, bro. So want you to get out. Yeah. Resort power alliance would be a bit more deadly. He's <laughs> Louise. Guys, out of control. Yeah, he, he's off of that uh, Joker laughing gas. I know, something's wrong with this guy. Good overhead. He's right so right now. DLC really right trying now. to do something here. All right, wait, I got to ask you an important question, though. I don't want to hear it. Do you think Quanchi looks like Slayer? A little bit. He does. You know, you know what I'm saying? He does a little bit. I feel like Slayer's just under NDA. He can't admit that he's actually him. You know, he does look at like him a little bit. Good plus frames. Gonna go for the throw. We might have another game. Bro. Are the names switching? I think it's because they invited us to a third. I knew I wasn't bugging. It's because they invited us to King of the Hill, not Forever King. That's why the names keep on switching. It's not me. I'm like, yo, am I this idiotic today? <laughs> it's because they did a freaking King of the Hill and it's not Forever yeah. King. That's why the names keep on switching. Make sure it's a Forever King. Yo, I thought I was tripping. God. I keep on looking at the names. I'm like, I'm like, wait. <laughs> I'm like, I just switched to him like 10 times already. Dragon now destroyer about to get a ton of damage. Has the opportunity to send us to another game five. Is Young Monster gonna let him? It looks like indeed we will be destroyer. This mirror match is going to a game five. Good stuff, man. Dragon keeping composed, staying alive here. Trying to prove to everybody that he is the true Ashra Sereno master. Let's see if Dragon's going to be able to close this out and slay Young Monster. <laughs> it is me, Quan Chi. I'm going oh. to get my nipples pierced. <laughs> that's something he would do, though. I feel like that's his character. It is me, Quan Chi. I love pain. <laughs> I love when they take their sweet time piercing my nipples. <laughs> You're, you're off the rails. Oh, my dialogue in the, the Mortal Kombat was a little explicit. Wow. You didn't tell me you was doing all that in this game. I did. Actually, you just weren't listening. Oh. Idiot. Sorry. Really nice. Dragon right now. Ooh. Oh, nice pick up there from Dragon Destroyer. That was disgusting. You know what's crazy? 30%. Caboose, no lie, this is literally light versus dark. Yeah, this is so sick. Dragon yeah, Young Monster mainly uses the dark version of the uh, of the blade. Yeah, and the way I had the, the names and the scoreboard messed up the entirety of the set, that is the best way to kind of differentiate this whole thing, oh, is wow. the light Dragon Ashra versus the dark Ashra. Dragon had the three bars of meter to break her with the cameo. Oh, the cameo wasn't ready, so it wasn't able to break her. Oh my god. 
Gonna activate the purple sauce. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Dragon with the blocks of a lifetime almost gets mixed up there. Just swinging into the abyss here. Yo, Monster making him whiff. Oh, he tried to get the catch, but a beautiful punish from Young Monster. Knows the perfect attacks to go for to avoid oh, Tony Serino. Look at this. Look at this now, look. Destroyer. I don't want to look. Dragon. Able to get some hits in. Trying to close this out. Are we going to a final game? Final round? Final everything? Maybe. Dragon has no breaker available. One more touch could potentially oh, nice. do it here, Caboose. Smart idea. Two get rid of Dragon's meter. The oh, throw is going to connect. Is Escape fails. Dragon's got a second. And that's it. An upset. An upset, ladies and gentlemen. Young Monster has eliminated Dragon from the tournament. Jesus. Going with the fatality and everything. Chopping the, the light Ashra into bits and kibbles. Unbelievable. I can't believe what I just witnessed. Destroyer Dragon is eliminated. Very, very tough. But again, as with anybody who gets eliminated tonight, I imagine we are going to see Dragon come back within these last two weeks that we have here for Champions. You of sure the about Realm. that? A congratulations to Young Monster. I'm your Alpha for advancing now into the loser semis. Our next match is going to be King Gambler against Walter White Yo. Get wrecked, yo. Oh, uh, so what's going on? Are we inviting them or are they inviting us? I'm just going to set up the invites. If they don't want to be invited, then that's too bad. All right. Well, I think things are really shaken up here, Caboose, because like you said, that was quite the upset. Young Monster taking it over Dragon. Three games to two. Invite down to the apps. Down to the absolute wire. Invites sent. Hey, you cut me off one more time. I'm going to get Brendan Fraser's The Whale to break down your door and s slap you in the back of the head. You didn't invite me, bro. I did. Oh, well, now I got it. Thing took forever. Listen, I don't know. I think you're the one that causing all the con connectivity issues in the, in the game. I think you have doo-doo connection, Caboose. I feel about that. All right, you know what, guys? All jokes aside, use code Destroyer FGC. Use code Destroyer FGC if you guys want to get a discount on some really cool G Fuel stuff. This is their latest and greatest G Fuel shaker. And if you use code Destroyer FGC, you can get your hands on this right here and you get a nice discount. Let me tell you use code Destroyer FGC, you get a nice discount. Look at this. Yeah, yo, code Destroyer FGC for real. Code destroyer FGC. Yeah, maybe I'll use that. Oh, oh my wait, God. actually, I just realized what, what's happening here. We we had Man, get wrecked, move on to face off against King Gambler, which inevitably gave us the, the Johnny Mirror now. And then in that last set, we had the Osher Mirror. It's Champions of the Mirror matches tonight. This is Champions of the PP Unkaki. Let's see now, how this plays out. Get Rex rocking the Lao hat, which obviously a lot of people think is the best combination in this game so far. King Gambler has said in the past that he just doesn't vibe with the Kung Lao cameo as much for Johnny. So he instead rocks Goranya. Which, which works is, really well, I must say, Caboose. You know, the Goro cameo, it does the same thing that a lot of the other cameos do. But in a 100%. different fashion, and you you know you yeah. get you get really nice combo conversions off of Shadow Kick, and it's just a really nice pairing. I'll tell you that much. And the main question in everybody's mind is Goro ever gonna pay him back for the sunglasses? Has does Goro actually? You know what? This is, this is a really really important question. Does Goro do, does he use deodorant on all four of the dogs? <laughs> You gotta ask the uh, Mount Rushmore of Goros in the background about that uh, that's, one. That's what I need to find out. I feel like we need to contact the lore expert and make sure that they are able to confirm. Actually, can we set up a prediction? Does Goro use deodorant on all four armpits? Let's get a one in the chat if he does. Let's get a whale emote if he doesn't. Really good sweep there. <laughs> Who's who? Get wrecked taking that round. <laughs> 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 
Who, who's who? Wait, huh? I think these mirror matches are getting confusing, bro. That's right, get Rex in the red shirt. King Gambler rocking the bloody dress shirt. Good forward three into the Lao hat. The stagger pressures are unlocked, and there it is, the infamous Goro combos we were talking about with Johnny Lao, netting 258 off of some wonky stuff. Oh, beautiful there, the wake up shadow kick into the Goro cameo. It's Willy Wonka. It's Willy Wonka. The back throw will connect, get wrecked, yo. Walter White, yo, is gonna take the round. Bring it. Or the game. And the round. Beautiful stuff, man. This is literally a battle of attrition here. We have Goro, Johnny, and then we have Kung Lao Johnny. Who's going to be the better cameo in this situation? You'll find out next time in Shubin and Bipo. Uh, this is a good episode. Johnny King, Johnny King, Goro <laughs> We got the predictions up. And his gambler I and Walter White. He <laughs> should have put Skylar White. Skylar White, yo. That's it. Should've, it should have been King Gambler versus Skylar White, yo. What if you know, just keep saying look, yo? Nah, just let, I'm going to be honest with you. I got a big problem with this stage. Why they got a Motaro skeletons in the background like that, bro? That's not right. How are they going to do my boy like that? Doing right. Nice tech there from who's the, who's playing? Yeah, King Gambler. Oh, it's actually. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get a two Skylar White. King Gambler taking wow. the round. Let me get two Skylar White Yons to go. Look at this. They're fixing him up for the next round here. King Gambler. Looking real juicy. Oh my god. Whip yep, punish okay. central. Watch where you step. Get Rank Yo just walking him down. Or no. King Gambler walking him down into the corner right now. <laughs> These mirror matches are killing us tonight, man. Ah, dude. You know, look in the background, you see the schematics? They're working on the Motaro human centipede. Good lord. It's just part of the <laughs> Well, what you don't want, you don't want to be a part of the back end of the surgery, I'll tell you that much. Oh no, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> oh, okay. Love it. Stagger is right now all over the place. A lot of blocking when you're watching two Johnnies face off against each other, Destroyer. It really is. I, you know, if you, if you pay attention, Caboose, Goro is the new Cyrax for Johnny Cage. Right. Fair enough. What if he calls Goro out again? He starts doing the helicopter. I know you'll lose your mind. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> oh my goodness, Destroyer, that throw would have been enough to end this. And there it is, the chip out with eight seconds left on the clock. Wow. Oh my goodness. Five. Wowzers. Oh my no, he will be a full grown man by the end of this set. You're not lying about that. The Johnny Cage mirrors do go quite the, the, the length here. Good whip punish off of the back three. King Gambler ending it with the nut punch. Goes with the down four, utilizing the plus frames to get the throw. Walter White, yo. Went for the shadow kick, getting mm. in a big time for this now, Destroyer. That was really good on Get Rex and to block that shadow kick and dish out the punish. I feel like anytime frames. you block a shadow kick, it's just like, like the the celebration. You know, the way that you, the way that that makes you feel. He's dead! No, the breaker! Breaker, he had the meter destroyer. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gambler yeah. also sitting on a full stick of butter now, y'all. So if he gets caught by anything, he does have the opportunity to break right as well. But he stuffs the cool out teleport. King wow. Gambler is going to take the game too. I got a funny feeling this is going to go to a game five situation for the hundredth time this week, Caboose. You got a farty feeling? What did I make it?
Oh, no. Did you get it? Oh, now I know what you're repping. Johnny King. Johnny King. I love that dude. The I, I love that little dude. Hollywood Boulevard, Johnny. Fans love me. Do you know what they'll pay for a selfie? Round one. Fight. Here we go now into game three. Destroyer all tied up in this set. It's been non-stop back and forth all day tonight. All day, all night. You okay? You having a stroke? Really good all nut punch. Night, day. It looks like Walter Yo is getting that pressure started again. Let's see how this plays out. The low hat. It looks like Gambler tried to backdash. He's going to catch him with the forward three deluxe syndrome into the nut punch. It's really just about who can prevent who from pressing less buttons. Oh, it's so oh. hard to block that low hat setup destroyer. That Rex says, I'm Walter White, yo, Skylar White, yo. He 1,000% said that, and yo. that was really good, yo. Wait. Yo. He, he ended that combo with the uh, the height meter buildup as well. Hopefully, we'll be seeing a massive combo with the height meter this round, yo. <laughs> you said it like you meant it. The staggers from Get Wrecked. Tries to go with the forward three, the patient from both players. Gonna keep Goro safe there plus with the Garanya cameo. Yes, sir. AG Garanya. Jurassic Saxis? Sure. And keeping himself safe here. Destroyer King Gambler. Found a hit and an immediate breaker from Get Wrecked. Oh my god. He goes into down poke. Oh my god, they're literally trading strings. Did you see that? Literally back Oh, the forth. overhead! This is a tried and true mirror match, Caboose. The parry. Oh. Gonna get sweep. There it is! That's just guaranteed chip. There's pretty much nothing you can do about it. Get wrecked. He's gonna take that. Go up two to one in the set. People in the chat want us to hydrate. We will do that for you. Oh man, I kind of ran out of G Fuel, so <laughs> I'll hydrate after the stream. There we go. Now, going into this next game, it seems like Gambler is getting blown up by the Kung Lao Hats, man. He's going to have to start making better reads on that pressure. Because if he can call out the Kung Lao Hats, he could essentially just shadow kick through it all day if he's got the meter for it. But at the same time, it's like Gedrecht is doing a really good job at mixing up the options, you know? And that's the thing about Johnny Cage's pressure. It's just so ruthless. It happens so fast. And you it's like a, a snap of your finger. You got to kind of know what to do instantly. If not, he's going to keep it rolling. And you're going to be in prison for the whole match. Name of the game with Johnny there, which is why it's so tough to play him in a mirror match. Because you know what the character does. So it's just all about who can do it most effectively. So far, King Gambler with quite the life lead and the corner pressure finds another combo here. Ooh, looking to try and close out this round nice and quick. Is King Gambler going to be able to do it? There it is. Immediately was, into the shadow kick. Dude, that was a huge turn of events right there. King Gambler kind of steamrolling that round. If he can keep that up, we'll be going to another game five. See what happens here. Does Get Wrecked answer back immediately? Or is that exactly going to happen? Just like you mentioned there. Another game five of the night. If I actually look at the bracket really quick, we've only had two non-game five sets. Gurr and Get Wrecked 3-1. Honeybee King Gamer 3-1. Everything else. Game five, game five, game five. You'll love to see it. You wouldn't want it any other way here on Champions of the Realms. We hope you guys have been enjoying week six's top eight so far. A reminder to everybody, we will be on hiatus next week, but we will be back the following week for week seven. Tally the amount of times I said week just then, I'll give you a cookie. Shadow 
auto kicks into the loud house. No, you, you said you were gonna cop the the overpriced Pokemon cookies. Oh man, is that what you said? Can't do it. Well, let me taste one, and I'll might consider buying one as well. Let's go halves on one. All right, I'm down. Oh, oh, nicely oh, done. Good opening there for King Gambler. Drop it, caboose. Not going to be enough, but oh. the sweep. Wow, get wrecked actually with some really smart stuff. Immediately meter burns the, uh, the parry on wake up. Expecting the pressure, but King Gambler was prepared. Goes for the sweep to close that out. And we got, we got ourselves another game five. Somebody that banned that guy in the situation. chat that said I'm 12. He's too young to be watching this. Ban yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, you should be. What are you doing? It's Mortal Kombat. Ban this guy. I'm 12. Mortal ban Kombat. him right Get now. Get out of here. Oh, I'm He's 12 years old. Get him out of here. Let me find out we got 12-year-olds playing in the bracket. <laughs> I will go to the house and talk to their mothers. Nope. I'm as real as it gets, bro. Oh, my goodness. I said, hey, uh, <laughs> are you this kid's mother? All right, Destroyer, this is it. Game five situation in this Johnny Cagemere, King Gambler, once again, the one in the white dress shirt. Get wrecked in the red shirt. King Gambler rocking the Goro cameo. Get wrecked with the classic Kung Lao. King Gambler with a really good start here now, Destroyer. Oh in the back God. throw connected. And again, Caboose, this is a game five situation and one of the coolest stages in the game. Say it again. This is one of the coolest stages in the game. Say it two times really fast. It's one of the coolest stages in the game, one of the coolest stages in the game. <laughs> no, I, li I like that you're just never not down. You know what I mean? <laughs> You think you want me to say it in super slow yo, motion? You'll run with any bin. Doesn't matter what I throw your way, you are prepared for it. You want me to say it in super slow motion now? No, I do not, because right now, Destroyer King Gambler is going to be on max. Alright, I'll say it in super slow motion. Oh, man. Pipi un kaki kaka. Okay. Oh, he missed a drop conversion from the Goro. Very unfortunate. But the fight back from Get Right, yo. Skylar White, yo. Can he close this out? Or is King Gambler gonna run a marathon on him? Yo. Yo. You good, yo? No, yo. Oh my god. The you know what's so insane about all these Johnny players, too? You hardly even see any of them need to use the star power. I, bro, and that's like I, I one of the most insane before. things that the character has. Not for real. And it's funny too because if you remember back in uh, the beta days, everyone thought that the character like straight up revolved around it, constantly building up the height meter. But then as yeah. the game evolved, there was like, uh, oh, it's just an added 60% combo we need. Why didn't that parry? I don't think the animation happened yet. You do get like a millisecond before the parry is activated and uh, get right through that button no. at the perfect timing to shut it down. I can't believe it. That that had to have been the most minuscule timing right there. Somebody said you get two happened. frames to react. Two frames. And Kent Wreck was able to get that hit out. Well, honestly, it's not even a reaction. Time. That was just like a lucky break for it's, him. Yeah, exactly. Right place, right time. Yup. My god, Gambler though, not phased at all. Still fighting final back here. Final round. That's gonna be plus frames out the butt. Both players dishing out, standing one ones all over the place. Good throw from Gambler. Nice throw. Get wrecked. Getting King Gambler into the corner now, Destroyer. Self safe. Oh, just went for that parry. It's stuffed though with the sweep. He said you're gonna sweep your room? Fine. You do that. Yeah, I gotta sweep it. Bro, this is way too close. Holy cow. The intensity destroyer, it is so tight, and now get wrecked in the fatal territory, which actually is a lot scarier for King Gambler, oh. even though King Gambler has the life lead. Both of them with the fatal blow now. Do you, think, they, do you think somebody's gonna spend the fatal blow for the parry? Oh no, the throw! I honestly don't even know what to expect from here on out. Oh, he got the shadow what? kick in the Goro cameo. And that right there 
is a textbook yeah. example destroyer as to why King Gambler rocks Goro instead of Kung Lao. Oh Opportunities God. like that. Meter burn shadow kick into Goro to get the full combo. And King Gambler is moving on to face off against I'm Your Alpha in the loser's semis. We'll get to that in a bit, but my goodness, what a set, what a finish. Bro, he is pretty consistent with that as well, Caboose. This dude does not drop that shadow kick into Goro Confirm at all. I mean, look at this. Called it out, had the safety net, a clip get right, and that was for the G. Jeez. And he was in the air floating just long enough for two dashes. And then still King Gambler was able to close the distance and get that game. What a tight finish. Get wrecked. Yo has been eliminated. Destroyer. Can you even believe what we just witnessed? I mean, yes, that's that's a Johnny mirror for you right there. Honestly, that the last couple moments of that match could have went so many different ways. There could have been a, a fatal blow parry situation where he dashed out. There could have been a, a Kung Lao hat set. Like, there is a, the character has so many freaking options and so many ways to make his options safe. And Gambler just going with the read of a lifetime. Shadow kick, no risk at all because he had the Goro safety net into the win. That was some beautiful stuff. Gambler advancing in this ridiculous top eight bracket. Probably the most stacked one we've had yet, Caboose. Would you say so? I 100% they're just nothing but killers in the top eight here for today but okay our next match destroyer I believe we're moving back up into the winner's side of the bracket it should be honeybee facing off against Tweety now do you want me to set these invites here or do you want the players to invite us uh good question can you try to uh, hit them up on a on something I'm a I'm gonna send the invites and these guys can hit me up if they'd like to be the ones to host. If they don't care, great. If they do care, that's fine. Well, all I'm gonna say is NetherRealm, I hope somebody from the, look, I love you, uh, the team. I love the team over at NetherRealm Studios. I really do love you guys. But seriously, if, if anybody from the team of NetherRealm Studios is watching, can you like push forward the connectivity issues for online a little quicker would so be nice would be nice okay i'm gonna suffer. send the invites out i love you guys for real what's that somebody get tyler lance out in the stream right now so i could ask him somebody get the kurt sick somebody get stephanie brown back please right now no all right i'll see you tomorrow all right here we okay. go let's see if both of them are going to join or again if they'd like to, uh, to send the invites themselves. I think both of them, I remember, have, uh, like Tweety during the pool play, he was letting us invite him, and Honeybee ran his match earlier by us just inviting him. All right, they're joining. Here. They're joining. Perfect. Just need Tweety to join him. We'll get this next match underway. This is our winner's finals match. The winner will be on the winner's side of the grand finals. Such a good position to be in, Destroyer. You know how it is. Just this is tweeting. game time. I, I don't know if uh, Tweety is going to be going into this with the Baraka pick or if he's going to be using a different character. But Tweety, if you can get in here so we can get this match started, that would be greatly appreciated. Wait, Sorry, hey. we need to get Tweety. There we go. Tweety is in. They just need to hit start match. And we're good to go. Wait, why is Honeybee in here? Why is Honeybee's in here? Huh? Hit star match, hit star match. Do it now. Bro. What? Like, I don't know what these guys are doing. <sighs> All right. Well, let's get those invites. I'll send another invite. I'll send another Recent. invite. Resent. The players do not want to play. I, I, I really dislike that the king of the hill does that by the bro, way bro i dislike a what? lot of things about this what? freaking game all right i sent out new invites jesus new lord invite. i i don't know why the king of the hill um okay wait tweety is saying my game is acting insane can i just invite y'all yes tweety invite us just go to your play together tab and then you should just see all our psn so you don't got to type anything on manually and you can invite us and, and we don't mind just make sure if you don't mind to both the both the competitors just make sure that me and Destroyer are in the lobby 
before you hit start match. Yeah, I think that what, way... what, what, what Gerd does is he goes AFK. So just go AFK yeah. real quick. Somebody go it, AFK exactly. and then when we, when we both join, get off AFK and then remember to hit square as fast as possible so we can get that match started. All right, here we go. The next batch of invites have been sent out. Again, huge shout outs to everybody watching. Massive shout outs to Flossie Carter, the sponsor of this tournament, providing each and every week with a tech prize for the first place winner of these qualifiers. The dude is a straight legend. And look, me and Caboose, we're gonna need another sponsor for season two. So get, get in our emails, man. Come on, what's up? We need a, a sponsor for season two. If not, I'm ending the stream. Editors are in here. They started the match. We're ready to go with our winner's finals destroyer. And this could easily be what you would end up seeing as the grand finals later on tonight. Tweety versus Honeybee. Tweety is rocking the Baraka. Honeybee, I mean, the, his stream title is Reptile all day in top eight for Champions of the Realms. Wow. But he hasn't picked Reptile. Okay, there it is. There it is. Tweety gonna rock the striker cameo as well. Honeybee with the scorpion cameo, which a lot of people consider to be the strongest pairing with Reptile. Unless you're Sonic Fox. Um, so let's see what happens here now. All I'm gonna say, Caboose, is Tweety has been a dominating force recently in the Champions of the Realms bracket. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the first week he's entered, right? The first week That's he's right. entered, the, probably the most stacked week to, to add on to that. And Tweet is just dominating this bracket, man. Let's see if he can continue this dominating fashion leading into this potential winner's final spot for him. Beautiful conversion. Gonna get the meter burn on the Baraka onslaught. Well, we know how important this is for Honeybee. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Stop bringing it up. Honeybee's gonna beat me up if you keep bringing it up. <laughs> All right. It took, it took, it took two weeks for me to get to uh, finally get his trust back. Two Here we go. Baraka barrage. Baraka barrage. What if he straight up just Marvel vs. Capcom? You know? He goes Baraka barrage. Yes, sirree. Good throw from Honeybee. Gonna set up the force ball. That was so smart oh, from Tweety. Nice. Charged the overhead. Yeah, that was disgusting. But Tweety knowing that the force ball is so slow, he's just shooting those super fast projectiles. Projectiles. Yeah, can't lose. Got that one. yeah man. I'm gonna take you out of dinner one day. Don't worry. Oh. Okay, yeah. Nicely Did done there for Honeybee. But Striker literally covering his butt. The combo drop from Honeybee. What is happening right no. now? The activation so slow on that force ball. He was able to get punished, and it wasn't even able to get to the other side of the screen quick enough for the fatal blow to get shut down. Tweety taking game one here with that full screen fatal blow. Wow, man. You know, that's a lot of things players tend to forget. Ca some characters in this game literally have full screen fatal blows. And if you're not careful, you throw out a move that has a lot of recovery full screen, you are going to get punished for like 40%. Oh, say good night. Say good night. Say good night. And right there was the perfect example. Tweety letting it rip like a fart at night. And he's going to be taking game <laughs> number one. Good stuff there from Tweety in game one here, Destroyer. Tweety has been put on a clinic ever since the pool play on Wednesday. Honeybee, though, still so strong with this reptile. It has probably the coolest piece of gear for the character in the game. He said, Do you remember what you Tekken Master did on UFA? And then Reptile said, and then Reptile said, Pippin, Kaki, Kaka Pippin. Okay, I was gonna say it's insane how good your Baraka impression is, but your Reptile impression is on another level. Thank you. Thank you. I've, I've worked hard on my Reptile impression. You want me to do it again? One more time for me. Pippin, Kaki, Kaka Pippin. It sounds just like, how do you do it? Oh, that could have been a way bigger punish for Honeybee. Missed out on the opportunity, unfortunately. Now stuck in the corner. Try to go for the throw. Watch out for that back three destroyer. There it is. Honeybee get the breaker. Yes, indeed. Oh my god. Oh, the pressure, and that's just guaranteed shift. There is nothing you can do. And you have that little amount of health. And the Baraka Barrage is thrown out.
I don't know about this one, Caboose. Sweetie is literally on a rampage right now. It looks like Honeybee's having a hard time finding his footing here against this Baraka Striker duo. Oh, so unfortunate. He found an opening with the Force Ball, but as he tried to switch sides, he gets shut down by the Striker cameo. Dude, that's what makes that cameo so strong with Baraka here. For real, and that Striker was on hit. I think he could have went for a full, like, 2-1 conversion off of that, but instead he went for the down throw. Try to be giving people some crazy scenarios. Look at this. Jailing him so he can get another back three. Honey B is looking like he is in big trouble here. Caboose, a nasty combo coming from Tweety. How much damage are we looking at here? Jesus! 5% almost into the setup here from more chip damage. More oh, chip no. damage. Oh, oh my it. goodness. Tweety taking that now up 2-0 against Honeybee's Reptile. This is very difficult to deal with. Tweety is just on a rampage <laughs> Yo, with Baraka this Baraka. Has no teeth. Baraka has no teeth. No way. Baraka had no freaking teeth. <laughs> nah, they were just bloody. They were bloody. They were bloody. <laughs> nah, that's Popeye the Sailor, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> that is that. Uh, Baraka had no teeth. Popeye the Sailor. Yo, I think... I think Scorpion kicked his teeth out that match. No, nah, they weren't just bloody. He had no teeth. What are you, stupid idiots? Yeah. Right, I'm ending the stream. Oh, good confirm there. He's got him in the corner. This is bad news, Bears. Oh, the interruption on the overhead. Good jump in. Striker keeping it safe. Oh! That was disgusting. My boy went invisible, but that back three, what is it? Back three one? Back three two? That is such a devastating string from Baraka. That's gonna do it. Tweety on a match point situation. Looking to take the winner side grand finals in this bracket, Caboose. What even just happened there? They both put their arms or something. I know, but Tweety got the better end of that trade there. Oh no, and then that, was that a standing four into the Baraka Barrage? This is just insurmountable. This oh, is Baraka's pressure like I've pocket. never seen before. Baraka's I don't even know if I see Johnny have players hold him block this long. My goodness, Destroyer, Yo. he's unstoppable. He's the final boss of Mortal Kombat. What's crazy about that entire sequence, he literally almost built 3-6 of butter, baby. Oh, no. See, see Honeybee did three, six of butter, not but he couldn't get any momentum there. Tweety was just on an absolute tear. Nah, he, he turned, said, you know what? I want some Zatera. He, he literally turned into uh, Rampage Jackson. Holy smokes, Destroyer. Tweety actually delivering our only 3-0 of the night. Honeybee sent now to the Losers Finals, where I'm your alpha, Young Monster is awaiting, or sorry, yes, is awaiting to face off against King Gambler. And after that, we'll move on to the Losers Finals. Man, that was very tough. I'd imagine for Honeybee, he must be pretty thankful that he is in the winner's finals. Uh, he was in the winner's finals from that set because at least now he has the cushion to try and figure out what he can do to take down Tweety if he were to have a chance to run it back into grand finals. Really, Yo. really tough set there, Destroyer, but Tweety, my God. What, what's crazy about what you just said, though, is this is going to send Tweety down to the lower bracket where he is literally going to be... Uh, Honeybee into the lower bracket where he is literally going to be swimming with a pool of sharks, Caboose. Yeah. Yeah. This bracket is brutal. I mean, I don't think anyone is safe at this moment, but best of luck to Honeybee. He still is in the tournament. He still has a chance at redemption here. Let's see if he's going to be able to make the miracle run in the lower side. But Caboose, it looks like the next match is going to be Young Monster versus King Gambler versus That's right. King Gambler. Now, what what are we doing here again? Am I sending invites or what's the situation? Well, I think the situation is we could take a quick five minutes because I'm going to go pee pee unkaki and kaka pee pee land real quick. And then uh, we could probably figure out that situation while we're on that little uh, break.
break here. Give me one Sounds second. Good. Let me set up the uh, bracket real fast so we could take a look at this before we go to that quick break. Uh, and, and I want to know right now, let me know in the chat, has everyone been enjoying the Champions of the Realms action? Because me and Caboose, we've been having a blast. No, seriously, it's been so crazy how good this top eight has been. Definitely living up to the hype that we had been trying to build up on since the pool play on Wednesday. Loving what we've seen tonight, and it is not over just yet. Destroyer is going to get that bracket ready so you guys can get a bit of an idea as to the carnage that has taken place tonight. And then we will go to a quick break. We will get back after that to our losers semis, our losers finals, and then our grand finals match. So there you go. There's the bracket. I'm your alpha or young monster is going to be facing off against King Gambler after the break. The winner of which will move on to face off against Honeybee in the losers finals. But man, the final boss right now has never looked more threatening. Tweety Yo, for on the real. winner's side. Super strong finals. player. I mean, bro, every single time Tweety's been on stream, it, it's just been domination, right? Uh, Wednesday, when he showed up, the dude, he was eradicating people. And now the same thing goes for this top eight here. Tweety's just on a rampage right now, but we're gonna be right back. And when we get back, we're gonna continue with this ridiculous bracket. Nobody go anywhere, get your snacks. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Here to Champions of the Realms. Our top eight has been crazy so far, and it is winding down. We just have our last couple of matches for the night until somebody makes that sixth spot for the finale. Our finale now at $4,500 Destroyer wow. for the prize pool. And look at this bracket. Look at the carnage that has taken place today. Our next matchup right now is our loser semifinal between I'm your alpha or young monster, as some people might know him, uh -huh. and King Gambler. Now, I think King Gambler is sending the invites out, and there it is. I got my invite. Also, Make Caboose, sure you if, if you up. mind explaining to them what's going down with week seven of Champions of the Realms, yes. Walter White, yo. Right. Okay. So week seven, I mean, normally what we've been doing up until now is every single week, every Wednesday is pool play on Destroyer Channel. The top eight is going down. It goes down on my channel. Next week, though, with the Game Awards, I am actually going to be in Los Angeles. I'm planning to attend the Game Awards. It's my first time ever going. I've always wanted to. So I'm going to enjoy a little mini vacay. Have to have a good time in LA. Um, and unfortunately, because of that, there will be no Champions of the Realms next week. So week seven is going to be postponed until the following week. And that is going to be, let me just pull up the calendar here. Um, that's going to be from the 13th to the 15th. So next week, December 6th, there will be no pool play. December 8th, there will be no top eight. But the week after that, we are going to see week seven go down on December 13th. That'll be the pool play. Then December 15th will be the top eight. And following that, the schedule will run as normal. So one more week after that, the 20th and the 22nd will be week eight. And then we will round out the eight contestants for our finale. We'll give you guys a bit of an idea as well around that time as to when you can expect to see the big top eight finale yes, go down. Sir. And look, I okay. Don't, I don't know if you guys been uh, checking out the uh, Champions of the Realms Arena series I've been throwing on my Twitch channel, but I plan on throwing a lot of those while Caboose is away. So the hype is gonna keep on rolling. Regardless. There you go. There you go. Lots of more MK1 to tune into over the next couple of weeks here. And Champions of the Realms is not going anywhere. We just need one week to take a bit of a break. But here we go now, Destroyer into our losers semi-match between King Gambler and Young Monster. Beautiful stuff, Gambler looking unstoppable with his Goro Johnny pick. You got Mama Juana, Mama Susia in the background going crazy watching the fight. The Destroyer, good stuff here to start things off and there it is. The illustrious shadow kick into the Goro cameo. You'd love to see it. Won him that intense mirror match earlier. Look at the patience right now. Gambler not pushing a button. Knows he has a fat life lead here. Doesn't want to make a mistake. Oh, interrupts the Goro, but the Shadow Kick shutting him down. Good stuff from Gambler. Quick thinking as well. Other people would have been afraid to throw a Shadow Kick in that scenario, thinking the Tony Serino blades would have blown it up, but not Gambler. Beautiful stuff there from Young Monster. I'm going to quickly right now, just to be ahead of it, hit up uh, Honeybee. 
and ask him to send it himself for the next set. For sure. Because obviously he's awaiting the winner of this one. No problem. Oh, he's gonna get the pickup on the Goro! But I think I just saw a lag spike, I'm not gonna lie. I think I just saw a lag spike. Luckily, Gambler's gonna be taking that one. And I know all eyes are pointing at Young Monster. <laughs> I know all eyes right now are putting it. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Quan Chi. It's me, Quan Chi. I would like to know if you want me to get my nipples pierced. <laughs> I can either get the left one or the right one pierced, you tell me, Caboose. <laughs> Caboose, in fact, can you pierce it for me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, we are up one game to zero right now. Let's see what happens here. A lot of peepee -pee undkaki between both of these players. He's walking him down to the corner. Young monster. Oh my god. Oh, he just gets out of the corner. He's gonna get the Tony Serino pickup. That was disgusting. Um, uh, again? Young Monster's the only player with Akra I see doing that, where he uses that, like, telephase or whatever the hell that move is called to yeah, get out of situations. The, the situation. Jersey Shore, the situation. Oh, yeah, you might the situation over here. Look at this 36% from King Gambler. Wait, hold on. Did he shut down the wake up? I don't know. Maybe he canceled it. I was about to say, if he shut down the wake up, then that's like a tectonic shifting event right there. <laughs> nah, that's Goro's parts. That's the tectonic oh, shifting event. Oh, really unfortunate. The overhead connects, Ooh. and Young Monster on the magic pixel is able to take that round. King Gambler had it. Just needed one hit on the chip there. Not able to get that low poke off of the duck from the Sereno cameo. Duck, duck, the call is blocking here. Yeah, duck, duck, goose. Nah, yeah, you're not blowing that armor up, man. Not as far as I'm aware. That armor, the only way you're blowing it up is by baiting it and hitting it with, like, a specific punish. I'm pretty sure if Gambler gets a block on it, he might get a guaranteed shadow kick. I'm not too sure, though. Yo, she's just flying all over the screen right now. Oh, I thought he got the parry out, but I guess not. Oh, and the down two. Wait, how much damage that do? Oh, my God. What? How much damage did that down two just do? Can we get a ping check? <laughs> what just happened? That was the down two to end all down twos. Oh, is it? Does the purple stuff make it do more damage? Uh, uh, yeah, no, actually, I think what it is with this character, I could be wrong, but correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, chat. If she hits you while in the, shut up. If she hits you while in the purple stance, doesn't that, like, start applying the damage boost? Oh. Oh. Oh, beautiful pickup. Drops a combo, not like this. Was a little too antsy with that pickup there. King Gambler with the nut punch. Wow, and there it is. That was an explosive round for Gambler. He is literally fighting a demon in this tournament here. No, literally, is an Akra demon? Like, like legit, he's fighting a demon. Yes, she is. Devora is a demon. I mean, Ashra is a demon. <laughs> I can't wait till the Combat Pack 2 releases and Devora eats the, a character that you think is going to be in it. <laughs> She's in it. And then my face morphs over hers and it goes, Devora? And then it turns out it's in the character Combat Pack 2. Nah, that'd be sick. Look at this go destroyer. King Gambler. He's pissed off after what happened. 
He's pissed off after that 600 damage down two that happened at the end of the last game from Young Monster. He said, listen. Oh, and this could spell the end of the game. It looks like it will. King Gambler tying up the set. He said, listen, Young Monster, if you ever lag switch me ever again, I'm going to break your legs. Oh, man. That's what he said, bro. Why would he say that? That's what he said, bro. Why would he say that? And Chad, this is a very important match because the winner of this is going to be advancing into the loser's final where they have to face off against Honeybee Commanders. He's the commander of all the Honeybee Hives in all of America. Every single one of the Honeybee Hives? Every single one of the Honeybee Hives, Honeybee is commanding them. So if you ever hi. see a bee, I will fight say hi to Honeybee for me. Until I am absolved. You are truly a one. Yeah, okay, I got you. You know, every weekend I hit up Honeybee and I say, Yo, Honeybee, can I get some of the finest uh, honey from the hives? It told me, for you, sure. He said, I'll get you a, said, I'll get you a ten piece nuggets. Oh, very nice. It's gonna be a juicy pickup here from Young Monster. What an interruption catches King Gambler on the approach, and that's gonna do it. Young Pee Pee and Kaki and Kaka Pee Pee Land going crazy right now. Wow, was that a missed timing on the Goro? Maybe he thought it was actually gonna hit. That's the thing about that shadow kick. You kind of got to make a hard read whether your opponent's gonna block it or your opponent's gonna get hit because then I think you got to change the Goro trajectory of it. Yo, let me ask you a question. What? You hyped for GTA 6 trailer on Tuesday? Oh my god, bro. The whole trend with everybody posting a picture of when uh, GTA 5 came out and now the GTA 6 announcement. That's too good. So funny. Oh, look at this. Destroyer King Gambler again off the shadow kick into the Goro cameo. And was he trying to go for the parry there or what was that? He's trying to go for the Pipi Hunkaki. He just didn't get it, I guess. Yo, so apparently that little telephase he does can go through grabs. Did you see that? Completely no, wrong. Not. You. I that. Yeah, he, look went, at this he went through the throw and punished him for... Look at this damage. Over 50%. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, hit him with a... Is able to steal the bomb. Can he steal it? Flawless blocks. Oh, he finds a hit! Oh, all that damage is for nothing. King Gambler takes the round. Not only did he find a hit, but he also got Young Monster off of that fatal blow. But it's not going to stop him from getting this combo conversion here. That's going to be about 40%. Basically a fatal blow on its own. Oh, the pickup! And he's going to get the conversion. Beautiful stuff. 189 with the down poke. Oh, my God. Mama. Nice oh. flawless blocking here from King Gambler. And caught by the throw, though, now going to be sent towards the corner. The monster tossing up the Tony Serino cameo. The low poke into the uppercut. Oh, there it is. That was a perfectly timed shadow kick. Thank God he didn't get up blocked there. Gambler still alive here, Caboose. He's throwing oh, the flawless blocks. But yes, sir. Re Young Monster going to send us to yet again another game, game five. five. Yet again, another game five. Yet again. This has been one brutal. Yeah, yet again. Do that to me one more time. Yeah. And watch what's going to happen to yeah. you. All right, how do you think this is going to play out, Caboose? Another Jets. game five. Wow. Mine is not for sale. Okay, hold on. It's a great way to start the round. He gets the first hit. Gets the free bar of meter. And he gets the damage. But an overhead's gonna connect from Young Monster. Good breaker. King Gambler does not want to deal with any of that damage right now. The patience is ridiculous. Good throw. He's gonna put him into the corner. King Gambler. Destroyer. This is truly unbelievable for sure, Caboose. 
Dude, the patience right now. But if you can't be too patient against a character like Ashra, she will open you up eventually. She's got so much mix inside of her toolkit. Pippi and Cucky. Cucky Pippi Land. Look at this. That is going to hurt big time. Not going to close out the round just yet, though. Can King Gambler close it? Yes, indeed. Bro, if she would have neutral duck punished him, I would have cried. He went for it, Caboose. Are you a cry baby? I'm a big cry baby. Yeah, I am. Right now, I'm, I'm about to get my little pacifier. I'm going to get my baby bit. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to have a baby nap. Good night. Goo Gaga, I'm a clone, baby. I'm a clone. Who are you? 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 Oh no, that's gonna hurt. Spending a lot of meter for that. Drops a combo. combo. Gambler. Oh! He's had to break her. Yeah, this is so nice. Yeah. You know, this reminds me a lot of my favorite new movie. Oh my god, Terminator that was crazy. Oh, I, think so I think that's it. I think that's it. Tony Torino. He's gonna finish it. Get down. That's gonna be the game. Young monster. Maybe they took Gambler from the tournament. And that'll be it. Destroyer King Gambler eliminated. Young Monster moves on now to the Losers Finals against Honeybee. Honeybee's Wax? Yep. Man, that was a really good start from Gambler in that Game 5 situation. But unfortunately, Young Monster is going to get the better edge of that sword blade there and close it out, cashing him out with the Tootsie Footsies. Oh, wow. Honey Bee sent that goes. invite instantly, by oh, the way. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, all right. We'll, all right. Uh, we'll get in there in a sec. All right. If one of them can go AFK real quick. Of the, oh, yeah. One of them can go AFK real quick. I'd really appreciate that. People um, cocky, cocky, people like. Really good set, though, there, Destroyer. Such a tight game five. It's been just nonstop game fives tonight, which you love to see. Now, though, we head into our losers finals match between Honey Bee and young monster tweety though this is i, I feel like i don't envy either of these competitors right now depending on who wins this next set because you then have to go up against tweety on the winner's side of grand finals this guy who's been just running an absolute tear with baraka my goodness now honeybee though it is out of the two of the competitors yo, here right now in the losers finals yo why don't you guys happened? go afk real quick oh no okay you're in here we're good Wait, wait, just make sure we're they're going to hit start. Okay, we're perfect, we're perfect. Okay, this is it. Losers finals match about to be underway. Thank you to the competitors for being so quick with those invites. Did I miss Tweety? Did you ready to send him invites as well? Yeah, message him and tell me he's an idiot. Okay. Oh, hey, hey. No Must you return to Outworld? Don't tell him. Yes, Ashra. I have been appointed the Empress's Emissary. All right, here we go. We're getting straight into this. This is losers final, right? This is it. Loser's final, Destroyer. Man, I can feel the tension right now. Honeybee is going to be fighting for his life here to get this win. Good opening from Young Monster. It's going to be a 382 on the dot juicy damage. Oh my god, goes with the punish. Crocodile Dundee tactics. You love to see it. Goes with the jump in, but a nasty trip guard from Young Monster. That might just about do it here. Wait a second. Just throw. The monster taking round number one here. Nicely done there from Young Monster. Wow, He's been doing that. a really good job here in Losers, by the way, Destroyer. We have to give credit where credit is due. Young Monster eliminated Dragon. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Oh, oh the overhead's gonna connect. There it is. Clinic. Honeybee cashing out on some juicy damage here. Goes with the setup. I Wow, I thought he was gonna try to bait that out for a second. Nice 
there's the death roll. Ooh, called in the scorpion cameo, but I mean, Young Monster was nowhere to be found from that. Oh, nice. Honeybee just pushing buttons. It's the hit. Oh, get that low sweep with the tail. Get the combo off of the scorpion cameo. He's going to go into Fatal Blow to cash out a solid amount of damage here. Definitely in a position where he needed to spend this resource. Is this going to hit over 50? It definitely will not. This, this Fatal Blow, I mean, there's a lot of Fatal Blows that do not scale. This is not really one of them. I mean, 40% is still not bad. Gonna go with the safe oh, option no there. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, my God. He's not dead, oh, though. Oh, my God. How is he still alive? Good flawless Honey And that's gonna do it. Honey Bee with Honey the craziest Bee. reads. Surviving. Gonna cough up a force ball and throw it on the floor. What a pig. Very lucky there in that position that Young Monster did not have meter off of the punish. Otherwise, we could have seen the end of the game right there. Honeybee tying up these rounds. Dude, it's definitely hard to play. Oh my god, guys, wow. with that mix up like 50 50. Young Monster getting caught slipping here. Good oh, jumping. Gonna have to block the overhead of the string, or sorry, the low of the string or the overhead from the Scorpion cameo. You okay there? No. My god, look at this abuse in the corner from Young Monster. Keeping plus frames on top of plus frames on top of plus frames. Go oh, with just the charge the death roll. To put himself invisible. There it is. Knocks him out of the air. Big opportunity for Honeybee to close this round and take game number one. What is happening? Down two. What a punish. That was a read, bro. Or not a read, but is. more so a really good decision. Because he could have probably down two There's probably multiple things he could have done to close that out. But just jumping in the air to catch him? What a call out from Honeybee. Taking game number one. Ripping Young Monster's stomach out. Just barely surviving there, too. That was almost Young Monster's game to take. Again, if he just had a bar of meter, he would have been able to punish Honeybee to death. But unfortunately, he didn't. And Honeybee was able to survive. And that led to him winning that game himself. Yeah, that led to a lot of pee pee und cocky. Get out of here. All right, I'm leaving. If you could Never come back. Would you? In my heart, I am Ceteran. We got a lot of vampire skins going at it here, too. This is truly giving me Combat League Season 2 vibes right now. Ooh, very nice. Kicks him out of the air. The pickup, though, from Young Monster. Gonna send him all the way to the left side of the screen. Tries to chase him down. Honeybee gonna get whip punished for that. Oh, no. Look at the damage, Caboose. 452 off of that. Incredible. 452, brother. About to go for the overhead. Clips him again with the force ball. You love to see it. We got the Scorpion cameo giving him the combo extension. Wait, he dropped that, right? So. Honeybee, not with a ton of life here, but plenty of potential to make the comeback. Oh, but gets caught out by the projectiles. If he would have went for that month. sooner, he probably could have caught him. So you, so you think you're better than him? No, I didn't say that. Oh, I'm going to go tell him to chat right now. Wow, look at this. Look at these mix-up destroyer. There it is again, the overhead. Honeybee forced to hit the breaker now. Just whips the tail out. Oh, and there we go. The fourth ball is going to connect. Honeybee now finally able to get the things going and get the invis activation. Oh, gets that, that low sick. now. That was sick. That was a setup and a half right there. And the overhead. The hell out of Young Monster. Very much utilized his time with the invisibility that time there. Destroyer, and he's going to keep it going. Gets caught up by the armor. Oh, no. He just tossed out the death hole like that. Like that. And that's Fatal Blow. I believe that is death. Honeybee now allowing Young Monster the opportunity to tie this set up. Wait, that's death, right? I don't know. The scaling is kind of... Oh, okay. Uh, All right, right. That last part there is out of control. That's super dead. <laughs> Yo, that thing went from 300 to 474 out of nowhere. What the? Somebody get the, the Mama Juana deluxe drink.
I could get you one of those. I'm gonna get you a, a baby rabbit for breakfast. What the hell? <laughs> you want sick. that? You're sick in the head. You want to eat that? You're sick in the head. What happens when you find Quan You ever had rabbit at a Brazilian steakhouse? You're sick in the head. Let me get a one in the chat if anybody's ever had fried bison. <laughs> Very good stuff from Tony Serino. Oh my god. Confirm, after confirm, after confirm, after confirm. Young monster after confirm, after confirm. He's gonna get another confirm after confirm. the Tony Serino. Confirm. Oh my god. The Twinkle Toes sword attack. A lot of backdashing happening right now. Young Monster is riding this life lead. He's having Honeybee chase him all the way down to the other side of the map right now. Whoa, why didn't that hit? Oh my god. That's very tough. Very unfortunate. Honeybee wasn't able to land that force ball. And that led Young Monster to be able to close out that round. Can you get a Mama Juana to go? Can you get a Mama Juana? Nice setup there from Young Monster to completely deplete Honeybee's meter. Wow, the low connects. Tries to tag him with the overhead, but an incredible block from Honeybee. That's a good throw there. I think this is exactly what Honeybee needed to turn the tides of battle. Good block on the overhead there. Honeybee expected it. Here we go now. Is, is that overhead raw been. punishable? Or no? I guess it's not. Not sure. Oh my god, he dodged! Oh, what the spacing wow. from Honeybee's insane! This man goes invisible, and he just makes the perfect reads! Honeybee working on a comeback right now. Oh no! He's got Breaker. He's not gonna no, get the, the meter! Serino. He got drained! Wow, what a play from Young Monster! Uh, how do you even have the, the knowledge to do that in such Whoa. a tight situation? Young Monster with a Galaxy Brain play, activating the Serena cameo to deplete Honeybee's meter as he hits him with the combo, so Honeybee couldn't hit the breaker. What's Unbelievable. Crazy, but what's Stop crazy right about that whole situation is that meter drain from uh, Tony Serena was so far away. It's like Reptile's tail was in it, and he got screwed well, over for it. That's what I'm wondering, too, is it have to do with, like, even if you're a little bit above the ground, but you're within that radius, your energy gets depleted as well? Or, like... His pinky toe might have been in it. I'm going to be real uh, with you. I wonder. I wonder. That's really tough stuff there. Honeybee wasn't able to get the breaker because of a crazy good play there from Young Monster. Now a 2-1 in the set. One game away from eliminating Honeybee from this tournament. Honeybee getting a nice little pickup combo there. Spin on down. down. You saw that? He did. Oh, he got the back three, but didn't continue it. He wasn't expecting it to land. Okay, Honeybee has a massive life lead. I say just keep it aggressive. Sometimes when you turtle back with a life lead, you tend to just make some really bad plays. Well, especially against Young Monster. I mean, Asha is a character that can come back so easily against you. Nice reset, though, there into the setup with the low off the invisibility. Honeybee doing a good job maintaining. Man, he got three sticks. He got three sticks of butter now, babe. He does not have three sticks of butter currently. Oh, gets the jump in on it. Off the projection. Yeah. Not gonna get some full combo though. I mean, oh my god, the damage. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, the damage is stacking up. Right now, he has access to no scorpion, so these extensive combos aren't gonna be available for Honeybee. Let's see what he does here. Oh, he's getting mixed. Oh, out here. Ooh, right wanted right to throw off of that. Three. Wanted to punish off of that whiff throw. One of the three sticks of butter now, y'all. Oh, Honeybee's gonna get the pickup. And the invisibility. Was that a combo drop? Please tell I me think, that wasn't a combo I think, drop. No, I think he's been opting to, to leave those combos to drop sooner so that he can set up the right low. And there's the breaker. He just needs one more touch to boost. One more touch. And there it is. Big punish inbound into the fatal. Surely okay. that'll be enough. Another okay. game five destroyer.
My heart dropped, man. When you see these players pick up the combo, it's like the nerves are real. You never know if they're going to mess up that final hit to convert into Fatal Blow or what. So at this point, Caboose, I just stay quiet when I see these characters get picked I mean, up. I drop my combo even when I'm playing against an AFK player. So I can't I can even <laughs> imagine what it's like when these guys are in these like high octane, high intensity, high adrenaline situations. Uh, so much on the line. I mean, the prize pool for the tournament is at $4,500. Jesus. Each and every week, Flossy Carter, each and every week, Flossy Carter is giving out these awesome, like, random tech prizes due to the competitors. There's something to get with each and every week. And Honeybee as well. I mean, he's been entering every single week for Champions of the Realms. He's very consistently either made it into the winner's finals of the pool play or top eight. So he is battling it out. He's giving it his all here to try and make it into that finale. But Young Monster putting on such a show, being the one to have eliminated Dragon from the tournament and as well showing up some crazy tech here with Ashra that we haven't seen from Ashra players in the past. So let's see who takes it now as we're in game five of our losers finals match. The winner here will have to advance and face off it's the final boss, Tweety. Yeah, dude. The final boss, Tweety. That is going to be one tough opponent to get through if you want to take this tournament home. I mean, right now, all fingers are pointing towards Tweety winning this, but you never know what can happen. I mean, we've had some wild weeks, some wild grand finals go down during this series, and the same can happen this week. Beautiful stuff from Honeybee right now. Just straight eating Young Monster alive. Going to be in a match point situation. Do we have a player that's finally going to eliminate this demon? Good job. Didn't get the punish, though. Oh, my God. He had the right read. No way, Caboose. He's getting caught slipping right now. Oh, nicely done. He is low post destroyer. And there's the overhead. Past the breaker. Final game destroyer. And it could be a final round. Honeybee having a tough go at it here. Young Monster gets the round. It's final game, final round for our losers finals. I don't know Destroyer. about this, Roger Boos. I'm this nervous. This has been insane. Yeah, I'm oh, nervous. he tried to go for the overhead for the cameo. He ate it and punished him. Excuse me. Leave it. Slow poke there from Honeybee. The back three. He's looking for an opening right now. Honey it's B, the jump in. Jump in. He better not drop this combo. So God help me, I'll cry. Oh my God. Pick up there for 35 percentile. That's gonna eat the, the life the here. He's got the breaker though. Oh no. Oh, he gets the force ball. That's the infant setup that he wants right now, Destroyer, but the Fatal Blow is ready. He cannot be touched, and there it is! There's the opening! Young Monster's gonna take it with the Fatal Blow! Very unfortunate end, but Young Monster clutching up, gets the opening, gets the Fatal. There's not enough meter to break her out of this one. Such a sound. Wait, what? What happened? What? Oh, no, nah, oh. no, nah, the game's bugging. The game. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> what? The game's bugging. <laughs> Honeybee oh, activated God mode. Why is he alive? <laughs> Honeybee activated God mode. Bro, I got scared uh, for a second. Oh, my God. He had, like, a slither of HP left. Everybody was probably watching, like, huh? Oh, so how they is, said, how what, is still what kind of scaling is this? <laughs> Holy smokes. Congratulations wow. to Young Monster, who advances now into the Grand Finals. Very unfortunate end there for Honeybee, but I imagine we will see him back next week. So, so tough. This this Ashra, it's going to be interesting. This Grand Finals is going to be interesting. It really is, man. That was wild what just happened here. I mean, I'm literally speechless after that caboose. Let's get these, or, or are they going to invite us? Let's get these I, next I, invites sent out and just get this tournament over with because I'm sick to my stomach. I reached out to Tweety, but I didn't hear anything back from him. Do you want to hit him up, or how do you want to do this? I don't know. Well, somebody go on Tweety's stream and tell them to invite us. Is, Is he Tweety streaming? streaming? He sh I'm pretty sure he's streaming. A lot of these competitors tend to stream their, their runs here. Their doo-doo runs. So okay, let, me set up a, let me set up a prediction while we're waiting here for you guys. I think they might have sent the invites. Okay, yeah. Invites have been sent out. 
Uh, players, if you could Perfect. just go AFK if we're both not in the lobby, we truly appreciate you. And this is it, Caboose. We've made it to the grand finals for tonight. Are you excited? I need it. the chat to get hype. Let's get some Brendan Frazier's The Whale emotes right now in the chat if you're excited for this grand finals. Young Lax, a young monster, going up against Tweety. This is it. Michael Jackson's This Is It, the documentary. Just need you to go AFK. We got our competitors here in the lobby ready to go. Grand finals underway. Tweety on the winner's side. Young Monster on the losers, meaning Young Monster has three games to reset the bracket and then another three to be able to advance into the finale and also win one of the mystery prizes that our sponsor of the tournament, Flossie Carter, gives out. Can he do it, Destroyer? Let's see what happens. Tweety, though, has been such an unstoppable force. But will Young Monster be the unmovable object? We're about to find out right now with over 1,000 viewers watching here. This is getting bananas. A rock of Barrage. Overhead does not connect, but wake up there from Young Monster. Kaboos, you smell that? I think these players oh, are bad. farting. They're nervous. Oh, oh yeah, these, yeah, these players not yet. Yeah. They, they did that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Young Monster has a massive hill to climb here if he wants to be victorious in this tournament oh. against uh, no, Sweetie. Wait. What's interesting there actually Four. is when Tweety tries to set up with the back three into the striker cameo, Young Monster can actually teleport through him and hit the striker cameo. No way. As he just did it, I don't know if maybe the timing was off there on Tweety's striker cameo, but he just pulled it off there. And I wonder if that's something that he did consistently to shut down oh Tweety's attempt at pressure. Wow. The spacing on that was immaculate. Young Monster playing this like a complete scumbag. I mean, hey, when you gotta play the win, you gotta play the win. Tries to go for the overhead. Good block from oh, Tweety. Catches him the second out of the hit. air and this low! And the chance destroyer. From a corner. Not a lot of time left on the clock. He's trying to go for the back four three. The striker cameo saves him and he actually gets to continue the combo nah, off striker. of the hit. Striker's a problem. <laughs> Holy smokes. Striker is a problem. Survived by the skin of his Tarkat teeth. I'm gonna ask you to stop and never do that again. And if you do that again. Okay, I'm calling Brendan Frazier the whale. Are you doing that in the game? You're a maniac. Look at the zoning here from both these competitors, Destroyer. Both of them are just sitting at full screen for a little while there, but now Young Monster is going to get something going, activates or apply some of the dark energy to Tweety. Oh, Tweety tried to jump in, get stuffed big time, but the wake up. I'm going to grab a brush and put a little makeup. All right, Serge Tarkat, or whatever the hell his name is. Come on, lad. Serge Tarkat, yeah. <laughs> Serge oh, he's going to go. Serge Tarkat. <laughs> He's gonna go for the big fatal blow combo here, Destroyer. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt quite a bit, and it's gonna be damage over time. I'm gonna tell you right now, the last thing Young Monster wants is to go down one game to zero while being in the oh, loser's side. Wake up. Oh, wow. wow! Okay, there it is. He shuts down the round, and that now no more fatal blow for uh, for Tweety. Waiting on projectile. Not that time. Waiting on projectile. Not that time. Tries to go for a jump in. Not that time. The patience time. is at an all-time high for both players. People are literally Honeybee hiding with behind a huge tables. raid. Oh, thank you so much, Honeybee. I'll take that raid. <laughs> thank you. Good stuff there in the tournament, Honeybee. I hope we see you back for week seven. Just remember, week seven is postponed until December 13th. We are not going to be back next week. I'm gonna be away for the game awards. Yeah, I'll be, I'll keep it, I'll be keeping everybody updated. And there once, you go. once the uh, the weekend of the tournament happens, I'm gonna be pushing signups heavy. So there we go. Everybody oh, look at this ready. destroyer. Tweety is gonna have the three bars of meter though for Breaker. But wait, Striker got hit. Oh, but he found the opening. Tweety is going to take the first game of this grand final set. Bro, the fact that like. The dude was on recovery for so long, and Striker pulled up and said, it's still not your turn. I cannot believe it.
I mean, I'm glad people are finally realizing how strong Striker is because think about it. He throws three grenades that hit mid. That's a problem. It blows up armor on its own, right? Right? Walter White, yeah. right? Right. Like, yo, Striker. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Combat yeah. Ease your symptoms. All right. So then what? So what are you going to do about it? So so then what? Security. Security. Oh my god, good down poke. Goes with the back three. Gonna connect. Hit him with a low overhead. That's gonna be devastating. In the corner, you the go. Low overhead. That's literally what they call that. Okay. I want everybody in the chat nonstop. I want to see a whole wall of the Spurs and idiots. If that happens, I'm ending the stream, kid. <laughs> if that happens, I'm ending the stream. Oh my god, he's gonna block the fatal blow and that's gonna be a punish. Big time. Nicely done there, destroyer. He wants to go again in the loser side of the grand final. This is hardly an uphill battle. This is a Mount Everest of a fight. Wait a second. Good neutral duck under the projectiles. Top Sietes, the projectiles. Nice jump in there from Tweety. Gonna cash out healthy damage there now. Look at that. She gets hit two times on armor and she, oh. just, she just gets out of there. Another really good thing about that string that Baraka has, the back three, what is it, one or two? It sends him so far forward. Really avoids a lot of uh, weird stuff. But oh my god, Young Monster actually going to be taking a game on the board here against the Tweetster. Cashed out huge damage there. Unfortunately, Tweety did not have the bars of meter. No full stick of butter in order to break her. Yo, Serena looking kind of... Um, all right, so we're gonna get into the next game here. Uh, should be uh, should be intense, man. I mean, this has been such a good back and forth that we're seeing right now here in the grand finals. Love what we're seeing from both these competitors, Destroyer, Young Monster, carrying a lot of the momentum that he's had leading up to this grand finals as he's had yeah. a freaking stellar losers run. He really did taking out a lot of killers in the lower bracket here. And you know, I gotta say, Caboose, Ashra, they really did justice for this character in this game. You know, not nah, seeing her did. for did. God knows how many years we haven't seen her. May in the return, this character is a problem in Mortal Kombat 1, bro. No doubt about it, Destroyer. Right, that immediately starting things off. Tweety with the back forward three. Ah, uh, dang. Uh, dang. Very nice, gonna smack him down wow, on the ground. That was Tweety. beautiful. The jump back, punishing the move that everyone despises. Tweety showing us the answers. Showing us the way. Again, it's crazy to hear two hits of armor on a wake up and then watch the character still just survive it. Look at this now, though, destroyer Tweety trying to close this round out with the meaty, beautiful stuff. For the overhead, good block there from Young Monster. Ooh, Ooh try to go to get for out it of there. Again. Jumping all over the place, Tweety trying to get an opening, but Young Monster with the whip punish. Forward three. Beautiful stuff there. Oh, again, Tweety knew it was coming that time. Nice cancel from Young Monster to avoid the punish. Oh, <laughs> Striker, when you least expect it, he throws three nades at your face. There it is. The man is like a, he, 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 he's like a circus clown. Like, how does he even release three nades out of one hand? Huh? The beast is a freak of nature. Oh my god, that's the first time I've ever seen No, the armor didn't really get stuffed. I think he canceled the teleport. Is that what happened? That should be chip out, though, Destroyer. No, There's the pretty much no blocked. way out. Oh no. I, I come here first. Oh, he made a hard read there, but a beautiful block from Tweety going to be taking game number two. Oh, but no. even a match point situation. Oh. Look at that. Giving him the Tarkatan oh. brutality. Oh. 
brutality it is. Look at her floating knives or whatever's going on there. He said, Asha, your breath stinks. Now, if Barack is trying to tell somebody their breath stinks, then it's a problem. Then, then you got some, you got something serious going on in your gums. If Barack is telling you your breath stinks, really? If the guy who's eating human legs and probably likes a good bowl of diarrhea every now and again is telling you that your breath stinks, there's a big problem. You seen Baraka's teeth? Look at this guy. Honestly, I aspire to have teeth like Baraka. Very prominent, strong teeth. Oh, it's, it's I love really it. simple. All you gotta do is not brush them for the rest of your life. Nah, I think Baraka brushes. There's no way. I think Barasha. I think Barasha. Bar <laughs> <laughs> this guy just, just came up with uh, their ship name, Barasha. <laughs> this guy ship. This guy ship Baraka and Astra. You know what? This tournament's been going on for too long. <laughs> Barasha. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here. <laughs> Barasha is out of pocket. Nice made it for an armored. I mean, to make a mistake monster. on that, that actually flows pretty good. I gotta say, Barasha. Barasha is honestly their child. I Chat. think so. Chat Barasha for DLC. No, I didn't. I didn't say Baracha. All right. Yeah, come on, guys. Don't get it. Twisted. No, we're not looking for female Baracha in this game. Don't get it twisted. You imagine no, that? Female Baracha would be, would be pretty funny. Though. That'll be the most <laughs> nastiest lady ever. So, and, and, so, and, and, so and, what do you got against Madame Bo? No, then she's gonna be screaming, Gombe! Or female style. <laughs> Barashra. Swear, we got a healthy back and forth here right now. Young monster, a game away from sending us to another game five. This time, though, it is a crucial game five for Young Monster to win. But that'll allow him to reset the bracket. Oh. Now, I if he had going to blow, this game would be over. Here. I mean, this combo does almost 40, 40 plus. Oh, no. Wait, he could have had a big play. He's safe. That distance kept him safe. Oh, my God. Oh, that's Why would he do such that? a huge punish. Why would he do that? I can't believe it. I think he monster just threw something out there oh, and nah. got punished. I it. think he most definitely miscalculated the chip damage in that scenario, and unfortunately, he's gonna pay the price for it. Tweety on match point, looking to be your sixth competitor, entering the top eight finale. That's going down on December 29th. Right, we got the date. We got the date. It's the 29th. Did I add you into the, the top eight finale court? Or, I got or the, it. The Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Ooh, good yeah, opening. Tough, tough situation. Like you mentioned, I think he did miscalculate the, uh, the chip damage, specifically because Sweetie had bars of meter. You take the chip avoidance by spending your meter if you are at a point where you could die and lose the game. So, in this, so, so in this game, if you have three bars, it'll take all three bars? It'll take all three bars, but oh, the tech! Sweetie stays alive! Oh! Man, Why would punish off the dark energy station. Oh no. I think Young Harry. Monster is getting a little nervous here. Oh, he's trying to get the overhead. <gasps> he connects the striker. Oh, and that's it, Young Monster. Wow, what a scrambled egg sandwich. Holy, give me some bacon and hash brown with I'm, that one. Can we? I'm, I'm ready to eat. Get me out of here, bro. You said you want me to get you to Ramadan? <laughs> what? What did you just say? I said I want to celebrate Ramadan with you. <laughs> That's nice. That's kind of you. How long are we fasting for? It's got to be 30 days. 30 days? Nah. <laughs> Forget that. Forget that. <laughs> he said no. I'm good. 30 days? Nah. All right, Destroyer. Game 5 situation. Tweety one game away from making it into the finale. Young Monster, a game away from resetting this bracket. Will this hasten your absolution? Wait, did you do you actually do Ramada? I don't actually know. Cause I was saying next time, let me know, and I'm down. Oh yeah? Yeah. 
I'll do, I'll do I, gotta lose, I gotta lose a couple pounds. I ain't gonna cry. First, first time for, first time for everything. Alright, let's do it. Huh? Who else in the chat is gonna join us? Get out of here. You guys think I'm serious? <laughs> now, now you, you can eat. You, it just has to be. It's like I think it's at a very specific time. Right. So I'll just have McDonald's every night. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, he's gonna sit him down to the ground. Good wake up out of the corner. He's gonna get down too. That's gonna Great be a nasty up. conversion. 207 off of that one. Tweety with the projectiles. Tweety with the projectiles. Oh, he's gonna get punished, but again, that striker camera. Still though, young monster recovers quick enough. No, so it's I think you fast, like Kabu said, you fast for like what, eight hours in the day or something like that? Or is there right. more? Oh, is he reacting here with the fatal? No, it gets shut down. Man, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Oh my god, destroyer. Go back three. It's just not enough to get rid of the armor off that wake up. That's just the strongest wake up in the game. No! Tweety landed the back three. He just wasn't expecting to. Oh my god. Unfortunate destroyer. 15 seconds left on the clock. Tweety. Oh, that striker cameo actually wasn't in range. Wait, he's still alive. Nine so seconds close. left on the clock. He's trying to hit him this with a projectile. So close. He's got the life lead. Oh, no, the striker cameo's activation is too slow. Young monster on reset point. Dude, this would literally make a tradition. Every single grand final set of COTR, I think, has gone to a bracket reset. I think except for one. Really? There was one that was just a game five. I can't remember. I'm maybe, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Still, there, it, it has been consistent that, oh, that the young monster side of the bracket would be reset. Oh my goodness! I a block. Let's see if young monster can make this happen. Dude, that wake up was coming. That's tough because actually, I mean, young monster still ends up defending that meter. Weedy. Match point, tournament point now. It's tied up. Final round. Oh my final God. match here. Ten young monster reach at the bracket. Wow, he was in the air long enough that to was avoid sick. the Tony Serino blades. Young monster right now, literally doing everything he's got up his sleeve to stay alive here. They're going in Man. a straight projectile trade That's war. Projectile. Yeah. It does, and I don't think young monster can take any more of these. He's about to lose half his life just straight off of Baraka projectiles. Seriously not good here. The positioning is very difficult. Yeah. It's again, it has to break her. Tweety looking to run away with this right now. But wait a second. The Tony Serino. The Tony Serino. He doesn't have the meter though, Destroyer. Gets the overhead. Whoa. Plus frames. Tony Serino. Goes out again. From that distance, it's, there's nothing you can do about it. Pretty much you're stuck. Just hold that throw connect. Young monster. Just a few hits away. Just a few hits away. Tweety with the back three. Another back three connected. He didn't expect it to again. Oh, armored through. Young monster resets the bracket. He is a literal young monster. Oh my God, I am at a loss for words, Caboose. What is happening right now? We got ourselves yet again another bracket reset in the Champions of the Realms open it just bracket keeps series. Happening. It, just, it keeps just keeps happening. Happening, man. The way Young Monster is staying alive in this set is honestly making me sweat. Oh, that's bars. <laughs> yo, yo, check it. It's me. What did I make it? <laughs> oh, I need you to hit to start the bracket, by the way, so I can input the scores. Oh, okay, my bad. I got you. Yeah, you're good. You're good. How many times must I apologize? Yo, Caboose, how do you think this is gonna go down? Holy, I, I mean, it's anybody's game right now. You know, a lot of people when we got into this grand finals was like, nah, Tweety taking this. There's no way. The, the voting is 77% to Tweety. I don't think anybody in this chat was expecting, first of all, a game five final round. But also, the young monster was going to reset the bracket after such a tight match. I mean, trust me, Kaboos, I sure as hell wasn't expecting this. I mean, the run Young Monster has had in the lower side has been incredible. Just going through an entire bracket of straight killers to get here. Oh, no, that look at this now. Destroyer off this reset bracket. Tweety is out for blood. That is three Baraka Baraka in one combo. That chip damage is insane.
I mean, dude, the pressure is on right now. Both players in the lower side bracket. This is it. Only one of these players can advance into the finale going down December 29th. What a whopping four, what is it, $4,500? As insane, the prize pool is high, and there's still two more weeks. There's still two more weeks, so if you would like to Bro. contribute to the prize pool, I mean, I would go crazy if we could get the prize pool to $5,000. I gotta, so we gotta go insane. back and check it. This might be the biggest prize pool we've had, right? It's up there. It's up there. Oh we definitely god. had some huge ones during the MK11 days. Oh my god. Anyway, if you have the means to do so, if you'd like to add more to the prize pool, exclamation point match remain in the chat. But right now, Destroyer, Tweety, trying to take game one here off this reset bracket. And it's looking like he's gonna be able to do so. There it is. Game one of the reset bracket going to Tweety. This is kind of looking like shades of the last first of three set they had. You know, Tweety kind of started off with a steamroll. And then after that, yeah, Young Monster just adapting to the situation, resetting the bracket. Hopefully that doesn't happen again for Tweety because that would be devastating if he loses this deep into this. Imagine making grand finals, going into a bracket reset, losing, and then having to do this all over again to try to get a spot. Sheesh! My goodness, Destroyer. So here we go now. Young Monster is down 1-0 against Tweety. But man, I mean, he has made comeback after, after comeback in this grand final so far. Can he continue that trend now that the bracket is reset? It's Ooh, such a morale boost a to know. It's such a morale boost to know for Young Monster that he is capable of taking down Tweety. Nice throw. He really is, but it looks like Tweet, Tweety is unleashing the demon. He is just swinging. My god, look at this right now. Flawless round for him so far, too. Destroyer, the chip damage, unbelievable. Oh, no. Oh, That's no. Disgusting. Flawless. Flawless That's victory. Four. Yo, we got the homie Alex in the chat. Sheesh! That's the homie right there, bro, chill. Good okay, here we jump. go now, Destroyer. Neutral jump punish here. It looks like Yo Monster is going to catch out on some juicy damage. What are we looking at here? 40%? He goes into the purple sword. He wants to put that, Five, yeah. that damage buff on. Got a ton of the dark energy now to his opponent. Bro, 120 for the two hits off of the dark energy. That could have been a big punish, and he tried to actually get it with the Tony Serino cameo, but now Tweety with a punish of his own into the corner you go. This is not where you want to be against Tweety's Baraka. Yep, there we go. Young Monster going to use that bar to wake up and get out of there. Can I ask Bro, you we'll something? Connect. Is the purple sure. thing bugged, or is it, does it go on for that long? I think it lasts that long. Jesus Christ. Well, I think it lasts that long when you apply enough of it against your opponent. Okay, oh. there we go. Young Monster is going to cash out here with the Fatal Blow to tie up this round. My God, look at the damage scaling of this. It just makes no sense. This is going to be over 50. Bro. Wow. 515 for that Fatal Blow combo. You know, sometimes you see these guys do these, like, complicated combos into Fatal. And it's, it's like, like 20%. I, feel like, I feel like it's more detrimental. Like, the, the less you do, the more you get out of the For Fatal No, blow here. 100%. That's, that's usually how it works. Like, Omni-Man, you do 2-2 two, two into Viltrumite Stance, into Standing 3, Fatal Blow. It's like 475 for no reason. Man, I hope these players are matching those buttons because, you know... Does this, it actually give you extra damage? Dude, it does. Literally go to the lab, do a fatal blow, smash all four of your base buttons on the controller, and do it without smashing it. It adds like an extra 30-40%. I'm not even trolling. Why doesn't it uh, show like the skulls and stuff anymore? That's so weird. Ask them at their own studios. All right, I'll ask them next time. Look at the flawless blocking though to survive the ship, young monster! No He's way. able to get the punish! No oh way he ties goodness. this up here. He doesn't this, have meter. This but is going to be about a ton of damage. Oh, oh, the oh, striker. No. He can't take any more projectiles. Oh my God! Oh. He narrowly avoids the projectile. There's 25 seconds on the clock. Oh my Sweetie God! is trying to close this the out. The striker. Young monster trying to stay out of range from it. Oh, he caught the end of that. Oh no! Tweety was able to get a low poke in. Young monster didn't realize. Wait, it's not over yet, Tweety. Tweety's Tweety. not over yet. Maybe just celebrating a little early here, going for the nah, fatality. Dude, I, I know. To be a fair, lot of people can relate. He needed a bit of a break. 
Well, I was also going to say, I know a lot of people can relate in this game. Sometimes these matches, especially in a very high level set, these matches be feeling like three games after one match. It does. It does. So either Tweety got mixed up there or it's like you said, he's trying to get a little breather here. Or, or you know, somebody in the chat said mind games. Could be that too. Sometimes like you see somebody fatality you when, when you know the set isn't over. It just, it gets your mind, you know, it gets your adrenaline pumping and you start to, you know, the salt really starts to take over you. So is, is Tweety trying to play a mind game here right now? Is, is Tweety trying to, to KO Young Monster? Or is Young Monster about to make the biggest reverse 3-0 their entire life right now? I don't know, man, but I can tell you one thing. I think Tweety oh, after no, this set is going to have cut. That was disgusting. And he got the back three off of the cuffs? I think Young Monster trying to push a button there. Oh, big punish right now. This is a tough start for Young Monster. Unfortunately, Tweety is going to cash out huge damage there now. Who oh, try to try to get the handcuffs again. This is, that is new. He, he was not... Wait, oh no, what happened? Did Young Monster just I mean, concede? hey, I'm... Yo, the, that, that's allowed. Young Monster, if that controller died... Oh no. Is he giving up? I oh, don't know. quite know what happened here, but if he did give up, that is the most. There's no way. That is the most oh, uh, coward, cowardly God. thing ever. I'm just going to say. Did his controller die or did he give up? Nah, uh, your controller doesn't die for that long. Uh, and if he did give up, I'm going to say that is some coward stuff. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say he didn't give up. That's going to be a GG's to Tweety there. What happened? That's just... That, uh, that's that's just happened. a heartbreaker. That's just a heartbreaker. I mean, what a way to conclude our finale here. Hey, and, and I don't fault Tweety for taking that. I Me mean, neither. I would have done. I would have took it too, man. Like, you don't just disconnect the controller yeah. for a whole 10 seconds there. That is just... What? No, Young young Monster was there. He just left the, uh, the King of the Hill. Really, really unfortunate end to an otherwise ridiculously, ridiculously great top eight. Did he give up? Um, I, I, I think so. He at, at towards the end of that first what round, the... he was just eating the projectiles for from full screen, and then um, he just kind of dropped the controller. It feels like. Look, I'm gonna say this again, Young. You the homie and everything, but that's not cool, bro. Play the set till the end, you know, because that, that he, is he just, still had plenty that, of chance that, to come that back. That is he just won. like I, I'm just he gonna reset the bracket. Uh, I'm just gonna hope something happened, like his mom came in and smacked him in the back of the head, or something where he couldn't play anymore. I hope that's what happened because that's not cool. I mean, regardless, congratulations yeah. to Tweety taking that. That was really cool. I mean, we got the bracket reset and everything. But Man, what a you, you know what's you know what's really difficult. So, uh, somebody said it when Tweety did the fatality on game two. They're off the reset bracket. Somebody said mind games, and it feels like uh, like exactly what I was saying. Like sometimes when you get hit by dude, that fatality, that's un uncharacteristic of him. I've seen that dude levels. in numerous tournaments, and never I saw him do some stupid stuff like that. That was cowardly if he actually let that happen. But yo, Tough. GG's to everybody. That is going to conclude week six. Not week seven, week yep. six of Champions of the Realms. Do yourself a favor. Oh no, Tweety said have fun in week seven. Yeah, for real. Do yourselves yeah, yeah. a favor. Get yourself signed up for week seven. You got a lot. There's a lot of time to kind of prepare yourself Two weeks. for this week. Two but weeks. signups are open now. But do me a big favor. Listen, I'm saying it right here, right now. If you sign up for the tournament, show up. If you're not going to show up, make an effort to at least let somebody know, especially if you're a top player. Because I'm getting sick and tired of all these players like Hayate and all these other top dogs signing up and just not showing up. At least give us a head up because we, we seed you. We seed you in these pools and it kind of makes the bracket a certain way if you don't show up. Because then players are just fighting when, you know, just let us know at least and and we'll definitely uh that's that's the thing right that's, take you that's off the all bracket. there is to it like we we have no and problem somebody if somebody else came up like if, if something came up during the pool like leading into the pool play if you couldn't make it or whatever just, just let us know that's it just let us know but destroyer that was an unbelievable top eight that we had here tonight really good stuff congrats to tweety who has made it now into the finale our prize pool at forty five hundred dollars i am so excited to see who the last two competitors are going to be that make it into this finale. Like I mentioned, 
Next week, we are on hiatus. Destroyer will still be streaming a ton of MK. There's going to be some Champions of the Realms arenas to look forward to. But Champions of the Realms, this tournament here, will be on break next week, okay? So like he said, you guys got a lot of time to get ready for week seven. So make sure you're signing up. Hit exclamation point, sign up in the chat. And we'll be right back with you guys on December 13th for the pool play over on Destroyer's channel. And then it'll be right as normal schedule. We'll go just as normal after that into week eight. And then December 29th is when our top eight finale goes down right before we hit the new year. We'll be, cran we'll be crowning a champion of the realms for Mortal Kombat 1. Tweety now entering into that finale. Destroyer, take it away, my man. Yeah, I mean, just a last minute uh, shout outs. Uh, I just want to give a huge shout out to all the viewers. You know, this wouldn't be what it is without the viewers. This wouldn't be what it is without the competitors. I really appreciate every single one of your, uh, your, your people's time. I really do. Also, massive shout outs to Caboose, always blessing us with the incredible commentary, being the perfect co-host for this tournament series. Big shout outs to Tarot Temptress running the brackets like nobody could ever run a bracket. And also- hey, yo, big shout outs to Destroyer for doing so much work on production and the, he's like always that. updating the bracket that you guys I are like seeing. That. My boy Destroyer is one of the best co-commentators I could ever ask for I as like well. That. Me and Destroyer, listen, we really love doing this stuff for you guys. This uh, this tournament always, for us, since its inception, has been a tournament by the community, for the community. And we're just so glad that you guys tune in and, and watch this with us every single week. Yeah, and then the last thing, massive shout outs to Skeptum, everybody that's contributed to the prize pool, and yes. Flossy Carter sponsoring each and every week with a tech prize for the winner. We are greatly appreciated for all the blessings we have with Champions of the Realms and just all of you guys. Caboose. Let's get out of here. That's it. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. We will see you back on December 13th for the pool play of week seven. Hey, just coming back to let you guys know, if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor, slap that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, we live stream on Twitch just about every day, so come and say hi.